I love when I click on the wrong scene. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. How we doing today? Hope y'all are having yourselves a good Saturday. It is the weekend. We are here for some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet shiny hunting. Evie, why are you so far away, buddy? Why are you, like, so far away? Why are you, like... There... There you go. You look... That's much better, buddy. You're doing your best. You are doing your absolute best. What is up, everybody? How we doing? We got some outbreaks to hunt. It is the freaking time to do some shiny hunting. I'm super hyped. We got some cool hunts ahead of us, uh, including some Pokemon I really love, as you can see by the layout here. We got one already on deck. Uh, but yeah, we're going to hunt some outbreaks. If we ask for suggestions later on, I'll let you guys know and feel free to get those suggestions going later. But yeah, that's going to be the plan for today. We got some little sparkly friends to hunt. So let's jump right in. What's up, Link? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How is your day going? Hope you're having yourself a good Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What up, Murph? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? What's up to you as well? Time for some shiny hunting? Let's go. You know it. You know it. Good though. The day is going fast. Yeah, today has gone by like super fast. Like I blinked and it was like three o'clock and I was like, oh, I guess I should start getting <laughs> stuff to get out of the stream. Whoops. So, uh, here we are, getting things all good to go. Play some Dragon Quest XI, though I might have sprained my wrist. Dragon Quest XI part sounds fun, not so much the spraining your wrist part. Is your wrist okay? What happened? What happened to you? Alright, save it up, and let's do some hunting. Let's jump right in. Alright, one... It's not fun when you're the second drummer for a band. I can imagine that being a little bit difficult to drum with a sprained wrist. And uh, as somebody who used to drum a little bit here and there, I did own a drum set for a little while. Um, I can imagine that being extremely difficult. <laughs> yeah, that does not sound like a fun time. I'm not gonna lie. What happened? Like, how did you? How did that happen to you? Uh, eight. Delayed. Delayed. No, go late this way, buddy. There you go. Get the guy on the rocks. Eight. For the band trip in a few days. Jeez. Yeah, that is uh, not what you want to see, unfortunately. I, I hope your wrist is okay, though. That's frustrating. Eleven. Well, good night at tournament today. Tomorrow is the other part of the tournament. Nice. How'd the tournament go? Was it for baseball? I know you said you are a baseball player. How'd the tournament go? Fourteen. Fifteen. 16. No, Galaid. I want you this way, buddy. 17. 18. I don't even know. I just woke up and I can barely move it. Huh. Did you, like, sleep, sleep on it weird or something? 19. That's extremely strange. 20. I thought that Timber was a shiny uh, charger mode for a second. That's funny. That is so strange. Might not be Chad much because I don't want to be moving my wrist much. You're good. No worries. I get you. It's all good. 21. 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. 23. I don't know how I've gone through so much shiny hunting and never made that joke. 24. 25. Like, I honestly don't know how I've never made that joke before. At least that I can remember. 26. There's some grub in here, too. That's kind of funny. Uh, 27, 28. So it doesn't look sprained from the outside. It just feels sprained, so I'm still holding that help. Yeah, hopefully it's okay. I hope that it's not like fully sprained. That would be extremely annoying, especially when you've got your trip in a couple of days. 29, 30. Won both games, I pitched and went up three up, three down. Hey, that's what we like to hear. Good stuff, congrats on the dubs. Best of luck in tomorrow's. 31, 32. So how many games are left in the tournament? 33. 34. 35. 36. Here's a tip. Vikable is the second fastest auto battle Pokemon. And it works in water, so it's great for shiny hunting. Ooh. That's a good point. 37. 38. 39. 
So if we get this guy, we can use it for shiny hunting. 40. 41. That'll be extremely helpful for hunting shinies that are in the water. 42. 43. 40. Delayed. Right there, buddy. 44. My ass pack broke, so I can't ice it. Oh, no. 45. 46. Do you, do you just have, like, a bag of ice you can put on it? 47, like, a plastic bag with, like, some ice. 48. Because it might not be an ice pack, but at least it's something. 49. 50. 51. <clears throat> Excuse me. 52. Keep going, delayed. 53. I use Viking Vol as my auto battle. It does seem like it would be... Easy one to do. 53. 54. 55. Delayed. He's over here, buddy. 55. 56. 57. I have a second one in the freezer. Okay, that's good at least. That's good at least. That makes me feel a little bit better. 58. 59. Look at that guy. 60. And a one for good luck. All right, so let's save. And then let's scan this area real quick. Make sure there aren't any already uh, red little buses uh, in the vicinity. And then let's make our sandwich. We'll probably go uh, electric here. Just so I don't have to deal with the cherry tomatoes. And also because I think there's more bug types I can spawn in this area. I'm not seeing any red charger bugs, so I think we'll go ahead and make our sandwich. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, save it up again. And let's make a picnic. Hooray! We're going to collect all the Dharma and Dragon Quest XI today. Nice! Sounds like a good time. I know you love that game, so it makes sense. Alright, make a sandwich. And then, oh, I'm going to need to buy uh, some cucumber, or some pickle and cucumber after this. Uh, I believe electric is yellow peppers, I want to say. Yup. One, two, three. Uh, and then any two herbs. We'll just go sweet and spicy. Why not? Yeah, sounds like a good time. I did every weapon over the course of a while. I'm going to try and knock out every armor and seven missing this weekend. Hey, good stuff. Let me know how that goes. I still need to play DQ, uh, Dragon Quest 11. I almost said DQ 11 and all I could think of was Dairy Queen 11. <laughs> so I'm really glad I changed the DQ to Dragon Quest. And then told chat about it anyway. I actually, was look I actually went to DQ the other day because I was in the mood for some ice cream. And I was looking at houses. So... Got a, um, what was it? I can't even remember what I got when I went. It was a blizzard. Oh, it was a mint brownie blizzard. Oh, dude, it slapped. It was so good. All right, that looks pretty good. Perfect. Yo, what's up, Joe? How you doing, my man? Welcome to the stream. How's it going, bud? Beer with the sandwich. I mean, that's a lot of carbs and wheat, my dude. But they probably, some people probably would use beer for that. Somebody, some people probably would use beer for that, Joe. I would agree. I love Charger Bugs, Shiny. I agree, Link. It's very good. The whole line is really good. Like, Charger Bugs is great, and then you see Vika Volts, it's just like, oh, man! That's Shiny's heat! That's Shiny's heat! Dude, it's so good. Seven missing projects? Oh. <laughs> you have seven missing projects? Like, in class or, like, in Dragon Quest? Are you counting each piece of armor as a project? I hope it's the former and not the latter. And that you don't have seven missing school projects to work on this weekend. We call it DQ11? Alright, cool. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, can I show up to Dragon Quest? Yo, can I... Excuse me, Mr. Quest? Can I get a mint brownie blizzard, please? Can I please get a mint brownie blizzard, Mr. Mr. Dragon Quest? Yo, oh my god, man. I don't know what what I've been putting in the water lately, but like the shiny look has been immaculate, y'all. I'm just saying. Shiny charger bug on the screen. That was actually so fast. It is not even funny. 
Oh my god. Charger Bug Gen 9 Learn Set. That was insane, dude. Am I late? What up, Plushy Man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. No, you are not late at all. We just started. In fact, just got this shiny Charger Bug. So, no, you're not late at all. Alright, we're gonna false sway at this fool because all it has is Crunch, Dig, Iron Defense, and Discharge. I don't even mind Grubbin. I think Grubbin's fine. It's fine. Oh, actually, what level are you? I didn't even think to check that. I just saw the fourth latest moves you get and was like, yep, that's what it has. Uh, either way, I think we're good. 58. So it has Iron Defense, Dig, Crunch, Exeter. So it doesn't have the Discharge yet. I have like 40 missing armor types. Okay, so it is the... Please work on your projects, Murph. What's up, Ernie? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Hello to you as well. Your luck lately has been crazy. I know, that's what I'm saying. Plushy man, you think Pokeball? It's going to be a Vikavolt, though, so keep that in mind, guys. It's going to be a Vikavolt. It's going to be a Vikavolt, and Vikavolt is silver and green. So keep that in mind. So if anything, I think I'm leaning probably Premier Ball. Because Vikavolt, while well, this thing is red, Vikavolt is white and green. And I think Premier Ball is going to match perfectly with that. Other ideas would probably be Nest Ball, but I think the white looks better. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Premier Ball. I think it works the best. Luxio next or Rotom? Um, I already do have a Rotom, but I guess I could get another. Uh, there's Luxio nearby here, isn't there? We got the Charger Bug. Let's go! Shiny Charger Bug on the team. Let's freaking go! That's what we like to see. Protected by a sturdy shell, Charger Bug eats large quantities of fresh and decomposing leaf litter. In order to evolve. Um, I'm sorry I'm not going to be pulling y'all for nicknames on this one. But, and this is one of the few times I uh, will name a Pokemon in all caps. All aboard! <laughs> I just, you know, like, it's cry sounds like a bus. And I just love it. All aboard has been added to your party. Let's go, dude. Do Giratina next? Is Giratina even in the game? Like, truthfully, I actually don't know the answer. Or it could always do the Electrode and Pikachu dual hunt. Electrode Pikachu dual hunt. What? Where's that at? Oh yeah, Premier. Premier, I think was a good shout because the white matches Vikable perfectly. And even then, the front of its face is like an orangish red, so that works out too. The only thing that doesn't match is the green, but I think we're chilling. Or even Sandy Shocks. I do have a Sandy Shocks as well. I know good spots for all I said. Um, what do we think, guys? Luxio. I think of those, I'm leaning probably Luxio the most. Unless there is an electric type shiny that somebody can name me that is um, better. Can we do a cool electric type? Uh, what cool electric type, Joe, are you thinking? What is your cool electric type you're thinking, Joseph? Well, I don't think I've ever called you Joseph since I've known you. That's so wild. What electric type are we thinking? No Arceus? Sadly, no Arceus. No Arceus allowed in this game, unfortunate. Good luck on your shines. Appreciate that, Viridian. Thank you. Currently hunting a Swablu outbreak. Best of luck on your hunt as well. I know an amazing Shinx spot. I wouldn't be opposed to Shinx or Luxio. But according to Joe, those aren't cool enough electric types. So I want to see what his definition of a cool electric type is before we make any final decisions. If he's even going to type it. I'm waiting, Mr. Jert YT. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Joe. I'm trying to think what other electric types there are. Paldea, Dex. I'm trying to think what else. They legit all stink. I'm on DB right now looking. <laughs> I'm looking right now on Cerebi too. Hunt Sneasel. We have an electric sandwich up. Sneasel's a dark and ice type. If you go to the spot, you fought the Cloth Titan. The only electric types that spawn are Shinx. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Let's do that. Wooper? We can't do Wooper. It's an electric type sandwich. Uh, and I've got some stuff in mind for after. We can maybe do like a uh, Jotonian Wooper later though. But I do have some other outbreaks I want to get first though. Um, I want to go to this spot, roughly, right? Where is it? Like, area 5-3? Uh, I don't know what 5-3 means. So, it's around this area, right? Like, it's in this area? Isn't it? 
After, we can see about after. Shinx is good. I'm going to draw an electric type whooper. Yo, Paul Dagan whooper. <laughs> Imagine if Paul Dagan whooper was electric ground type. That'd actually be so hype. Not the exact thought, just in that general area. All right, so as long as we're close enough, it should be fine, right? Belly Bolt, I already have a Tad Bolt. I just got to evolve it. But I do have one already. Area 5 or Area 3. So as long as I'm just in this vicinity, you're saying. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly the cloth area, but like... Yeah, there, there's a couple I'm seeing so far. There's a couple so far. Oh, excuse me, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to switch out the icons. Uh, where is Shinx? There it is. I'll swap these guys around. Put the big old bus on the screen, and then there we go. Alright, this seems like probably a close enough vicinity, right? Should I just run around, I'm guessing? Run around looking for shinies? I just hope that the yellow doesn't blend in too well. That's my main worry at the moment, I think. Shinx, my boy. I like Shinx. I think Shinx is dope. I think Shinx is very solid. You can find some amazing loops. I will try my best to find some amazing loops. <laughs> I'm not good at finding those. I mean, like, I feel like this loop isn't too bad. Like, going back and forth from, like, the gate to, like, this Pokemon Center. I feel like that's not too bad. Because we're getting some decent amount of spawns. There's one loop I did that got me three in 15 minutes. Alright, we'll share with the class. Share with the class. I thought that Palmy was one for a second. I was about to be like, never mind, we're good. <laughs> I was about to be like, no way we got it that quick, man. No way, dude. I mean, this loop isn't too bad. Gen 4 was a great generation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut on that one. Okay. I'm gonna then refrain from speaking. I, I am a Gen, not hater. Hater's a strong word. I am a Gen 4 disliker, I'm afraid. I like Platinum, I like Hard Gold, Soul Silver, I don't like Diamond and Pearl, and I don't like BDSP. So, I'm not a big Gen 4 guy, I'm afraid. Yo, what's up? Don't kick my shin. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I love that name. Poke Gone? I don't really know what to say to that, but true. True. Near the Watchtower Fast Travel? Um, what is it, Kitty Cat? Do I have the Watchtower Fast Travel? I don't even think I have it, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't even have it. You doing good? Good, I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear you're doing pretty good. I will kick your shin. There shall be no shin kicking allowed in this chat. No, no, no. No shin kicking allowed in this chat. Your shin shall be protected as long as you are here. <laughs> pretty sure we'll be able to see a Shinx. I hope so. I mean, it's pretty pronounced. Like, it's just that yellow and orange are so similar that, like, looking at them on, like, a, a light spectrum and, like, everything like that, with the way the in-game lighting works in this game, it's just hard to tell at times, you know? Want to trade? Uh, I'm in the middle of a shiny hunt right now, so not at the moment. I'm currently doing a shiny hunt, so no trading at the moment, I'm afraid. Just look for the watchtower near the middle, closer to the cloth place. Okay, well, I'm at the cloth place. This is the cloth place. Like, this is the cloth place, right? It's literally, like, right here. Isn't it? Okay, that watchtower. I found the watchtower. I'll just keep walking closer towards that, I guess. I never fought this kid. I can't believe that. It'll be easy. Yeah, I, I, I'm cautiously optimistic, Plushy Man. I'm cautiously optimistic. We will see, though. We will indeed see. Uh, just one second. I'm just gonna check something real quick. I'm just gonna lower the game audio a tiny bit. Does the game audio seem okay, guys? Is it too loud or anything? Or nah? I'm just trying to make sure it's not overwhelming. I think it should be fine where it's at, but I just want to make sure. 
It'll be easier to be optimistic. Ah, like I said, I'm, I'm being cautiously optimistic, you know? Just a little bit of caution. Oh, never mind. It's right over there. <laughs> oh, that was actually really easy to see. <laughs> Alright, we got it. Shiny Shinx all aboard! All aboard the Shiny Shinx train, baby! Let's go! Alright, I don't think you get anything at really low levels to damage me even slightest, slightly. So, or the damage yourself. So I'm just gonna hit you. Told you, you weren't wrong, Link. You weren't wrong. I'm running out of hunts for real, Murph. Like, it's actually crazy the amount of luck we're getting lately. I have a Shiny Greninja level 61. Solid. It spawns when I spawn. Shadow with the luck. That's what we like to see. Alright, so obvious Ultra Ball is obvious, right? It's black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Was that two shinies in seven minutes? Probably pretty close. Probably like two in ten minutes at the very least. Uh, it's gotta be Ultra Ball, right? It's black and yellow. Like, come on. Yeah, for sure. Like, it's gotta be. I like how she, like, kind of sidearms the Pokeball. That's kind of neat. Just getting the ball, buddy. Let's go. Shiny Shinx on the squad. Say that five times fast. Let's go, dude. I swear every time I shiny hunt, I suddenly start hallucinating and think everything is shiny. Oh, I get it. I get it, Viridian. Trust me, I do. The extension and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when in trouble. Neat. Um, what do we want to name this thing? It's a boy. Um, hmm, I don't know. What do I want to name this thing? That's a lie. There's a spot where Electro and Pika show up, which I know, but most Pokemon I know good spots. Okay, I fair. <laughs> be sad if you didn't catch it. Ah, it's a Shinx. It's going to be easy to catch. Like, I know a good Palmo spot. Uh, I do already have a Palmo. Sparky, what's up, Fritzy boy? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? How's it going? How's it going? I'm seeing a couple of words that go with Spark. Uh, we got Fritzy Boy saying Sparky and Link saying Spark in general. So why don't we just call it Sparky? I like Sparky. Sparky was the first one I saw, so we'll go with that. Sparky the Shanks. Alrighty. Another hunt. Let's pick another one. Bobu would have been funny. For the brilliant Diamond Shiny only playthrough, are you doing Shiny the Are you going for Shiny the Alga? Uh most likely yes, plushy man. Most likely yes. Fangs, Fangs isn't bad either. Yeah, I like the Spark. I like Spark and Sparky, that's good. Hi, I'm good. Good. Glad to hear you're doing good. That is what I like to hear. Um, so we can, what now? <laughs> Belly bolt? I already have a tad bulb. Pachi Risi, we just got one last stream. Uh, where's the, um, what about, like, Voltorb? What do you guys think about Voltorb? Because isn't there that one area where, like, the Orthworm Titan is? <gasps> Wait, more Peko? Where do you find more Peko? Where do you find, Marf, I need answers. Where do you find more Peko? I love more Peko. That's my favorite Pikachu clone besides Token Tomorrow. I love more Peko so much. I caught a Shiny Shinx 2 and fully evolved it. Let's go. Rotom? I do already have a Rotom. I mean, like, yeah, I could get more, but still... Roaring Moon, still an electric type sandwich. Still got time left on it. DLC, yeah, I know it's DLC. I just don't know where you find it, though. That's what I'm not sure about. And Murph usually knows, like, the hookups for, like, the good shinies. Or the good shiny spots, excuse me. Um, uh, I'm gonna look up where more Peko is found. More Peko's a violent exclusive. Well, don't think we're doing more Peko, guys. Unless I suddenly can teleport <laughs> over to, uh, Scar to Violet. I'm gonna do Voltorb. I'm going to do Voltorb, I think. I'm going to get it on the screen real quick. We'll do Voltorb and Electrode. Why not? Why not? Uh, Why am I scrolling down in Generations to find a Voltorb? As if it's not a Gen 1 Pokemon. Voltorb. I know these things can explode, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue. But well, I think we'll be alright. Perfect. There's our big blue bot. <laughs> I'm really glad I caught myself before I finished my sentence. There's our big blue boy. I get right there. That looks good. And then let's put Shinx over here. Perfect. Yeah, I think it is a more a vile exclusive. Oh well. Yeah, you can get it in Madali, but even still, like we can't because Violet. That's nah, fine. I know that Pikachu Electro Voltor spot. If you want to give it to me, you can. Otherwise, like, I was just going to go to, um, where is it? Like, this area? Up here? Like, I was just going to go here. 
Because I know Voltorb spawn here, and I don't think there's any other electrics that spawn here. I can trade you it? More Pekka? Oh, I got it. You're good. No worries. I, I think I've already got one. I just wanted to get a shiny. I was about to say Eliquid, then I remembered it. I don't really like shiny Eliquid. Like, it's whatever. Blue on the Voltorb is really clean? Yeah, I think so. I think it's really good. I think it's very, very good. All right, we just got to make sure they don't blow themselves up. As long as they don't blow themselves up, we're good. So I'm going to keep a nice distance from these guys and make sure they don't explode themselves. Does that sound good to everybody? I think that sounds good to me. It's not shiny? Ah, it's all good. I'm pretty sure I've got one lying around. I may be able to find the Voltorb only spot. I think this one's good enough. Like, we're finding, like, a ton. Like, yeah, we're still seeing some Varum, but, like, it's fine. I think this is plenty. You can Union Circle with Violet Trainers? Yeah, but I can't at the moment, because I that would waste some sandwich time, and I'd have to make a new one, you know? Like, I get what you're saying, though. I get what you're saying. Union Circle with me? Uh, like I said, it would waste more sandwich time just, like, trying to do that, so I'm just gonna... I'll just stick it out. We're already here looking for the Voltorb. I think the best spot is here. Yeah, I think it is. It's uh, It seems, like, not too bad. No, me? I'm not Union Circling, guys. I'm sorry. That's my Voltorb spot. A is what we like to hear. If Murph likes it, I like it. I trust Murph's shiny opinions with my life. Shine will never blow up. That is also good to know. That is also extremely good to know. Shinies don't explode. Okay, thank you, Murph. Thank you, Plushman, because I did not know that. So them blowing up is just despawning them. I get you. I get you. Rip. Ah, it's all good. That's where I found my shiny orb. Alright, alright. So it seems like everybody's had good luck here. Let's see if we can keep the streak going. We still have 18 minutes left on this sandwich. That is actually kind of wild. Like, actually insane. That we got those two shinies in technically 12 in-game minutes. We can always you can circle with my Sylveon <laughs> outbreaks. I'm gonna I told you I would hunt Sylveon. I promise I will. If we have time later, after I get my outbreaks that I want, I will hunt a Sylveon. Not really the other one, it's the wrong type of like trans rights. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I will eventually. I already said I would. Is that a shiny? No, it wasn't. Sylveon's best evolution. It's definitely in my top three. I think Jolteon's still number one, but um Sylveon's either number two or three, depending on the day. I'd say probably number two, and then Espeon number three. I'd say probably Volt. Uh, I almost just said Voltor was my second favorite evolution. I'd say probably uh, number one is Jolteon, number two, uh, Sylveon, number three, Espeon, in that order. That'd be my top three evolutions. Trans rights. I agree. I agree. You find the shiny, you should name it Fortnite. I already have a shiny named Fortnite. It's my stupid Nakely that Joe was just like, name it Fortnite, Kai. And I was like, okay. Why not? <laughs> so I can't have two shinies named Fortnite, guys. Like, come on. What do you take me for? I don't run no sloppy shop around here. Name it Nuke when you find it. Nuke's pretty funny. The name I was thinking was um, Leroy Jenkins, so naming it like Leroy or something, because he just kind of like explodes on in. I don't know. I thought that'd be kind of funny. I thought that'd be kind of funny. Name it Among Us. Among Us, I'm not gonna lie, is pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty funny. Shadow just realized that your profile is Funky Kong, really, <laughs> and not a miscolored Zacian. How, what? How do you see Zacian? I do not see where Zacian comes in. I don't see how that looks like Zacian. What? I mean, to each their own, I suppose. No Sigma? Like, name it Sigma? Why Sigma? Why Sigma, though? 
Leroy Nukins. Leroy Nukins is kind of good. I don't even know how that's possible. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, Murph, how does that look like Zacian? What? Name one Sigma IDK? I, I was just wondering. Just wondering where the name came from. Because Sigma makes me think of Overwatch. That's why I was wondering. Is it sad that I was like, God, what is taking so long as we... I was about to be like, what is taking so long as we've been here for like two minutes? Like, that's actually a little bit sad that I almost said that, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little ashamed of myself for that. Oh, oh, the, the lighting engine over there made that white look blue, so I thought it was shiny for a second. Twas not, however, twas not. Hey, hold up, would you? Are you talking on me or the Voltor that's about to blow up on you? I wanna watch this. Uh, well, not really. It didn't really blow up on him. Name one Skibbity? Uh, probably not. Honestly. Probably not. Probably not, I'm afraid. I don't even know what that meme is. I just know it's like a song or something that's on like TikTok. I haven't been on, like, TikTok in, like, months, man. I kind of deleted it off my phone. I've just kind of been, like, whatever. Like, I have, like, over, I think, 6K followers on TikTok, and I'm just like, I don't really want to post here anymore. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's just kind of meh at the moment. Like, the amount of times I've spent just, like, scrolling through TikTok on my phone is just, like, way too high to the point where, like, it kind of, like, took over some of my evenings and all I would do late at night is just lie in bed for two hours straight scrolling through TikTok. So figured I'm just wasting sleep time and wasting other time. Might as well just delete it. So it did. So it did. Wait, Shadow, do you know where that picture came from? What picture? Like their profile picture? Name it Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem's pretty good. And that kind of ties in with another name we heard earlier. Because so I think it was Lynx and name it Nuke and Lero Nukins. <laughs> I kind of like Duke Nukem. That's pretty good. I might end up going with that. Your profile picture? Isn't it just Funky Kong? It looks like a Funky Kong like Smash Brothers render. Or maybe like Mario Kart 8. It's a random screenshot from the MK Booster Course Pass Wave 6 trailer. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was gonna say, it looks like it could be like a um, like a mod of a Donkey Kong in like Smash Ultimate or something. Like, I could also see that. I think the Booster Pass would just make more sense. It's got like, it reminds me of Smash's art style, but I guess Smash's art style is pretty similar to Mario Kart 8. It's pretty similar. Donkey Kong's my boy. Donkey Kong's dope. Hulky Kong is very, very dope. Can I leap out of this? Yes, we can. I don't want to go too fast through here because I don't want to accidentally not give these Voltorb enough time to spawn. Hmm. I wish I would have paid attention to when that one Voltorb event was. Because I think somebody said they got like five in like ten minutes or something. And then same thing with like the Hisuian Voltorb and Electrode, like that would have been cool to get. That would have been pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. So did y'all have a chance to check out the uh, draft video that went up today? If so, what do y'all uh, what do y'all think of the new team? What do you guys think of the new team, the Arcanine Pokemon Club team? Let me know. For those of you guys who checked it out, actually. I got a shiny Ditto. Hey, not bad. Let's go. Where'd you get it from? What is your main smash? Mine is Kirby. Uh, Byleth, Lucina, and Duck Hunt Dog. Although the Duck Hunt Dog is kind of a meme, but I, I did say I would main it. <laughs> but really, Byleth, Lucina. Depending on the day, I might say either one of them. Lately, I've been playing more Byleth than Lucina, so I'd probably say Byleth. 
Specifically the Edelgard skin, because I'm not a degenerate. Of course I'm going with the Edelgard skin. Looks pretty good. Hey, appreciate you saying so. Thank you, Link. Yeah, I was pretty proud of that team. I thought it looked, uh... That looked pretty solid. I was I was glad I got what I did. I did get sniped a couple of times. I think I said in the video. Like, I really wanted Heatran. I really wanted Donphan. Um, what else did I say? I'm trying to remember what else I said. But those are the only ones that I can remember. Those are the only big snipes I remember. was like Heatran plus Donphan. Like, I wanted both of those so bad and got neither. Like, they got sniped the round I was going to take them to. I was like, you've got to be kidding me, man. I don't think I said it, but I also did want Cinderace and didn't get it. So, yeah, I got sniped in my fire type like three times, dude. Gotta love it. Haven't seen it? You should check it out after this. Definitely. Let me know what you think of the team if you do. Watched it and like, hey, appreciate that, fam. Thank you. You don't willingly play Dunk Hunt, do you? No. <laughs> it's just a meme. Because Duck Hunt was the character I won our World of Light Nuzlocke with. So I said if I beat it with, with Duck Hunt, I would main Duck Hunt. So I beat it with Duck Hunt. So now, therefore, I'm a Duck Hunt main. Like, not actually a Duck Hunt main. But, like, according to the law of memes, I'm a Duck Hunt main. Because I can't go back on my word that I would main Duck Hunt if I beat it with Duck Hunt. So, no, it's not actually a, uh, a real main. It's just... I, I kind of talked my way into that one. Although my students never really play at Game Club, think it is a real character, and I'll be like, if they're going up against one of me in a 1v1, I'll be like, alright guys, what character do you want me to ban? What character do you not want me to use? And they always say Duck Hunt, because I'm like, yeah, I'm a Duck Hunt main. And meanwhile, I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> that works out. Because they all think I main Duck Hunt, and I'm like, I, I want to tell them, like, guys, it's just a meme, I promise. It's, it's not real. My Duck Hunt's kind of trash, I'm not going to lie. Although I have been playing it more, and actually I think it is getting better. Like, I I, I feel like I'm playing pretty alright with it. Kirby, Sonic, or Steve are my mains? Pretty solid, pretty solid. I, I mained uh, Sonic and Smash 4 quite a bit. My Smash 4 fans were Sonic, Mario, and Cloud. But I don't know, Ultimate Sonic just doesn't feel as good to me. Like, he's still really good, but... Um... Yeah. It just doesn't feel as good to me, so I kind of dropped him. Dude, just pivot grabbing in that game with Sonic was just so free. I love being able to pivot grab. Now you can't pivot grab anymore. It makes me so sad. Medali? What about Medali? Oh, is that where you got your shiny ditto? Where'd you get it? Medali? Wasn't there when that happened? Yeah. You know. Guess I'm a duck hunt main now, unfortunately. <laughs> is that a shiny Voltorb? No. Come out and play, little blue orb. My Maridon just one shot at level 60? I would hope so. It's a Maridon. I'm still waiting for a Mario Kart stream. It'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually. I just don't know when because I'm having too much fun shiny hunting. It definitely will happen eventually, though. Same thing with, like, a Smash Arenas with viewers or something. That will also be happening eventually. So don't worry. It'll be coming. I promise. I promise. Did you make a Pokemon game that's just Mario Kart but with Pokemon? <laughs> I mean, they kind of did with, like, Pokemon Dash, right? Because, like, Pokemon Dash on the DS, like, it was just a Pokemon racing game, right? So I guess that's, like, the closest thing to, like, a Pokemon Mario Kart we're going to get. <clears throat> Probably the closest we're going to get to one. Because I don't think they would put Pikachu driving a car unless they made, like, a Nintendo Kart Racer. Which, that I'm surprised they haven't done yet. But I guess I don't really want Pikachu driving. <laughs> so... I guess to some degree it does make sense. Something's wrong when you say, is that Voltorb shiny because they look so similar? Okay, but like, the, with how bad the lighting engine in this game is, sometimes when they're far away, the white looks blue. That's what I'm saying. Oh, hi, Tadpole. That's more what I'm getting at. Because sometimes, like, with how 
god awful the lighting engine in this game is from far away like look from far away the white looks darker like it looks like a bluish gray color so that's why i'm like oh is that shiny but then i see the red and i'm like oh no it's very clearly not well shiny hunting so i'll a dragon so i just have a flying one while i had a rookie the outbreak that i wanted to hunt because i'm a freaking <laughs> Yeah, it's normal flying, sadly. It is normal flying. It's not dragon until it becomes Altaria. It happens. We've all been there. We've all been there. It's fine. He gets you pulling to the finish line in, in a Bugatti for real. I think that's probably why they haven't made a Nintendo Kart Racers yet. It's because they probably would need to include Pokemon. And it's like, how do you include Pokemon without, like, making a Pikachu drive a vehicle? <laughs> And again, I guess, like, other properties have done that before. Like, freaking... Oh, hey, Shiny Voltorb! Hey, let's go! I was gonna say, like, um, like Goombas held a, held a baseball bat before Mario Baseball. That didn't stop them from uh, playing baseball, so... Why? Maybe, maybe Pikachu can drive, guys. Anyway, Shiny Voltorb! Hooray! Let's go! Alright, little buddy, what do you learn at the moment? Voltorb. Gen... Nine learn set. At level 26, you are gonna have self destruct, uh, um, electro ball, swift, and charge beam. So this thing can blow up. Um, as for like what balls we want to go for, I mean, it's gotta be either great ball or quick ball, right? Or die ball, I guess. Run and save? I thought I did save, didn't I? I'm like 99% sure I did. Did I not? I could have sworn I did. I'm like 99% sure I did save. Let me look. Yeah, I saved. We're good. We're saved. We're I saved. We're good. I was gonna say, I'm like 99% sure I did. Duke Nukem, name it among us after you catch it. We'll see, guys. We'll see. I'm just gonna false swipe it and take down the 1 HP, and then if it doesn't blow up here, then we'll have a free chance to uh, catch it whenever we want. Gonna charge beam me, do three damage. Got special attack boost, guys. I'm scared. Uh, run and save. We're good. I already did. I already saved. Good, good luck. Play praise God, B Duke. Let's hope so. Duke Nukem, you saved. Okay. I, I thought I did. I was like 90% sure. Um. So Pokeballs, Dive Ball, Quick Ball, Great Ball. I'm waiting to hear opinions. I'm leaning Dive Ball personally because the blue and white looks perfect. What's up, cool kid? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Are those mosquitoes? I don't know what the reasoning behind those is, but alright. I'm gonna go for a dive ball. Hey! Crit capture! Let's go! Got the shiny Voltor, baby. Nice and free. Didn't even go for self-destruct. That's what we like to see. Third shiny of the stream. Not even 45 minutes in. That's what we like to see. It rolls to move if the ground is uneven. A sudden jolt from hitting a bump can cause it to explode. Oh, that's great. We're going to name you Duke Nukem. Because I actually really like that. Duke Nukem. Let's go. Alright, how much time do we have left on our electric sandwich? We have a minute and a half. Let's just see if we can get another Voltor while we're here. God, Beedoop is on your side. Ah, oh, we stayed. We're fine. We saved, so we're good. We were chilling. We were chilling. Yay, I agree indeed. Yay. Alright. As soon as the sandwich is done, we'll probably just... I mean, it's a minute. Like, are we going to really get anything in a minute? Like, does anybody really... I think it's fine. Let's check these for marks real quick while we're at it. And then uh, I've got my next sandwich picked out already. Um... Let's check you guys for marks. Uh, no, no, and no. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna fly to Mesa Goza real quick and go buy some pickles. That's a sentence I never thought I would say in a Pokemon game. Hey, I'm gonna fly out to the city to buy some pickles real quick. <laughs> I never thought I would say that in a Pokemon game. Do you play Pokemon? Say no is a joke. Sometimes. Did I do that right? Did I do it right? The true guy of the Pokemon world is Sunkern. Yo, facts. 
Slug current is just only using like 2% of its power because if it used any more, it would destroy the whole world. That's why it's space stats are so low, it's only using 2% of its power. Alright, let's go buy some pickles. Because I need some for these hunts. Alright. Pretty sure you can buy some here. And the next thing I'm going to do is steal, which I need hamburger for. And I believe I do have that. I'm just going to buy like 8, 70 of these, I guess. And then, can I buy cucumbers here or no? No, I think we, should, we, we still probably have enough. Alright, I'm going to save. And then let's get some new Pokemon on the layout. Because I've got my next shiny already picked out that I want to go for. Where, oh, where could it be? You no, know, it's pretty far down. Hey, there it is. Alright, yeah, I've got my next shiny picked out that I'm going to go for. We we're able to get three shinies off that one electric sandwich, which is pretty freaking solid. Alright, let's get you over here. Swap you to over there. And there we go. We're going to be hunting Orthworm next, guys, because I still don't have one of these. That looks good. And then we'll put you right there. Perfect. Alright. Dope, 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 dope. So, I know I had an Earth Orthworm outbreak, but where was it? I thought it was in the desert, right? Yeah, it is in the desert. Oh, it's like right by the watchtower? That's actually so helpful. Look at the game being nice and convenient and friendly to me. You love to see it. You messed up. Sorry, what did I mess up? What did I do? Name it Earthworm? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Still don't have it yet. We gotta get it before we can name it. We do gotta get it before we name it, unfortunately. Alrighty. So I've found the mass outbreak of Earthworm. Here we are. Uh, this I can get the feeling it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but we'll make it work. Alright, we save it up, and let's do this. How much time do I have on my sandwich anyway? Alright, one. Two. You read the part you weren't supposed to say aloud? Oh, my bad. Four. Five. My bad, fam. My bad. Six. I honestly thought that Fampy was one for a second. I'd be like, no way. Seven. That would have been insane, man. Eight. Two blue shines in a row. If we get it. If we get it, because we still don't have it yet. Nine. Ten. Name him Terrence the Blue Boy. <laughs> what? Eleven. Where did that name come from? 12. Terrence the Big Blue Boy is kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, go get these ones that are underground. 13. Keep going, Galate. Come on. 14. Oh, now he's gonna run away, bud. Just get him! Alright, 13 it is then. Just, just go get those guys. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. 14. Now keep going. Just keep going after him. 15. That's better, Gallade. Good job. 16. Seventeen. Because he is blue and he is named Terrence. But why Terrence though? 18? That's what I'm more confused about. I'm trying to figure out where Terrence comes from. I get where the big blue boy part comes from. I'm trying to figure out where Terrence comes from. Twenty. Go get him, buddy. 21. 21. 22. Blue Crayola. He does look like a big blue crayon. He does. Go get him, buddy. 22, I think? I can't remember. Well, the Dom fan doesn't count. 23. 24. Delayed. You can do it, buddy. 24. Jeez, man. Delayed. On like it's pacifist grind day or something. 25. Oh yeah, Shinx learned a new move. I'm so happy for it. 26. 27. 28. 
29. Alright, we are halfway there to starting the sandwich. That's what we like to see. 31. I, I keep thinking that Fampy is it, man. I was gonna be like, are you kidding me? 32. Just go get that one while you're down there. Nope, that's a... That's a, a, a Bramblin, buddy. 32. 33. This stand's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt, I betcha. Bit of a pain in the butt, I betcha. 34. 35. What is this Terra Pokemon? Oh, it's Sandy Gas. 34. I didn't realize Sandy Gas could spawn here. 35. Glade. Come on, man. Glade, he's literally above ground, buddy. He's literally just right there. 35. Holy crap, dude. Like, come on, Galate. Get it together, buddy. 36. 37. 38. Keep it going, big guy. 39. Dude, he's literally right in front of you. Oh, my God. 39. 40. I sent the explanation for why I think Shadow's PFP looks like Zacian. Okay, I'll check it out in a bit. 41. Dude, I am, like, nowhere near you. That should not have counted as me, like, spooking you. Alright, go get those guys. 41. Through the form of low-quality photos. Excellent. 42. 43. 44. Go get all these guys. 45, nice little club grouped up together. Keep it going, Glade. I believe in you, bud. I believe in you, buddy. You can do it. You're a big, strong boy. 46. 47. 48. 49. Where'd that guy go? How, does he, how did they disappear, like, so quick? 50. 51. Alright, go get these two. 52. Nice. 53. 53. Almost done. We can start the sandwich. 54. Ooh, 55. Ugh, God, my shoulders hurt, man. 56. 57. Keep going, buddy. 58. 59. Yo, what's up, Arsenal? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 60. Some kind of see you back at it. Good news. I caught a shiny Caterpie on Fire Red. Hey, let's go. Congrats on the shiny Caterpie. And it's one for good luck. Perfect. Congrats on the shiny Caterpie. Let's freaking go, dude. Good stuff. All right, so we KO'd our 60. Let's go ahead and save it up. Because Terrence is Latin. Is Terrence Latin? I don't know if that's true. I don't think Terrence has Latin roots. If it does, I'll be a little bit surprised. All right, let's go for this, this shiny uh, big old worm, shall we? Let's make our sandwich. Google said so. Of course everything that Google says is correct. I'm not disputing you. I just think it's funny. Uh, let's get some hamburgers up in here. And then we'll go bitter. We'll go sour bitter. Why not? Alright, let's do this. It is time to make the best sandwich you ever did see. Yeah, I'm going to do the three hamburger stack challenge. You guys ready for this? There's two. Oh my god, look at him. He's so good. He's just so good, it's not even funny, man. It's unfair how good he is. But we do have to drop the cucumbers for high up now, so let's be careful. Alright, couple pickles. Hey, looking good. Bye, bread. I'd eat that. Yeah, I, I, I might. If it were turkey burgers, I'd probably eat it. I like working with the hamburgers. They're a pretty easy ingredient to work with in this game. Contrary to most of the other ones. 
They just, they, they fall where they're supposed to, unlike a lot of the other ingredients. Alright. The steel sandwich should be up, I believe. Let's make sure we get our steel encounter power. Boom, boom, and boom. That's what we like to see. And let's get right into it. Alright. Here we go. Shiny Orthworm Hunt begins a now. Yeah, it, does, it did look like a pretty good sandwich, so I don't blame you. I'd probably eat it, too. I get you. I get you. What can I say? Me compliments to this chef, a.k.a. me. I think I just stand here. What just happened to my game? Excuse me? How did I encounter this guy? What? Like, I know Scarlet and Violet encounters are buggy as hell, but, like, dude, that was, like, to another level. Anyway. <laughs> Dude, the hit detection in this game, like the hitboxes and stuff. Like, I'm wondering if it, like, spawns it in a fixed location and then, like, puts it in a random part of the map or something. Is that possibly what's happening? I honestly wonder if it is. It, it truthfully might be what is happening. Alright, let's keep our eyes open for a big blue worm. Let's keep our eyes open for Hermie the Wormy. I might name it Hermie the Wormy. Or just Hermie in general. My dog just stole a sock off my foot. Uh, I have no comment for that. I'm not going to lie. I have no comment for that, truthfully. I hope your dog gives you your sock back. Because you kind of need those, don't you? You do kind of need those, you know? Alrighty, let's keep going. Looking for a big steel worm. Can we get the big steel worm? Dude, it makes the sandstorm makes it so difficult to see here. Like this hub would be so easy if there just was no sandstorm. The only part of the explanation is the both tannish part, but the rest I don't agree with. What? What part? What part do you mean, Shadow? I'm confused what you mean here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure what you're getting at at the moment. <sighs> oh, before I forget, um, our week three battle for the DAPL will be going up uh, tomorrow. So you guys will be able to you guys be able to see how I do my week three Pokemon battle. So that should be fun. I bring some pretty interesting Pokemon that I think you might be surprised at, I'm not gonna lie. I think uh I think it's a pretty interesting battle. Like you might see a little baby a little baby fire lizard come off the bench to maybe make it into the team builder. No spoilers though, just you might. You never know. I forgot to say I agree with part. What part? I, I'm still confused as to what we're talking about right now. Is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet meant for the Game Boy? Uh, maybe, because it feels like it runs like it runs on a Game Boy. I'm not gonna lie. Will Oricorio carry again? Guess you'll just have to tune in to watch and find out. I mean, it all makes sense. <laughs> when you put it that way, it do kind of make sense. It do kind of make sense when you put it that way. I'm not going to lie to you. And if you... Oh, are you guys talking about the freaking picture you put in the Discord? I still haven't even looked at it. I need to look. I'm going to look at it real quick because now I'm curious. I need to know. What? No, I'm sorry. I don't agree. I do not agree. I'm sorry, Murph. I do not agree. I'm sorry. I do not see it, I'm afraid. I do not see it.
Do you look at the picture from far away? I don't think it does, Murph. I don't think it looks like a Zacian. I'm sorry. It runs on potato power? Oh, that's too much pa That's too much. Because, like, potatoes actually generate, like, good power. Like, people can run clocks off of those. This game's not as advanced as a clock. The only part of the explanation I agree with is both tangent part, but the rest I don't agree with. I get you. I get you. Not even the red. Remember, I played sword, so I had no idea. Like, I, I just don't see how that looks like a Zacian. Yo, what's up, Gianna? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing today? What's up, Aaron? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How we doing? Hope you're having a good one. It runs on dried grape power. So raisins? It runs on raisin power? That I would believe. Now that I would believe. That I will agree with. It runs on raisin power. I love it. Gotta love Scarlet and Violet. Instead of like double A batteries, the game takes like 10 raisins. <laughs> oh god, that'd be fun. Old lady grapes. I like raisins. They're fine. Raisins are fine. They're just like not just worse grapes. Just worse grapes. Like I'd rather just eat grapes. I love grapes. Grapes are my favorite snacks. I'll never forget this quote for as long as I live, and this is a bit of like an older show, so I'm not sure how many people here are gonna know it. But it was a show when I was a kid called Jimmy Neutron, and the titular character Jimmy Neutron, his dad once had a quote about grapes, and I'll never forget it for as long as I live. But the quote goes, "Grapey grape grapes gotta get in before they turn into raisins, because after that, bleh. and honestly, I kind of felt that. I kind of felt that. Hugh Neutron was spitting." Hugh Neutron was spitting the truth, man. Zacian has red on it. I thought it was more orange. I thought it was pink. I thought it was like a pinky color. I just realized that how nasty the sandwiches are in Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> like, the amount of ingredients you can combine them with. Like, all the different things. Like, that kind of nasty. Or, like, what do you mean? Because, like, there is a bunch of really, like, uh, interesting combinations, shall we say. Not seeing anything here. Kai, raisins, they're just worse grapes. I mean, it's just true. It's just kind of true, though. Like, am I right? I'm going to use that for everything. Yes. The grapes at Dorothy's house are to die for. Oh, yeah, don't you all live in Cali? So you have, like, the like freshly grown grapes and everything. Like, right off the vines. That's gotta be super cool. Like, I grew up in Florida, so we had that with oranges, but I like grapes more than oranges. So that's super sick. I'd love just to be able to have, like, a grapevine in my yard and be like, yes, this is my grapevine. <laughs> this is my grapevine. Dude, I'm nowhere near you. How did I hit you? What do you mean? What do you mean? A peanut butter and sausage sandwich with mayo and whipped cream. Yo, and you put it... How much... Okay, can we real talk for a second, chat? I guarantee you, as gross as it is, I guarantee you someone in their life has eaten that. I guarantee you at least one person out in this entire universe that we live in has eaten a peanut butter and sausage sandwich with mayo and whipped cream. As gross as that sounds, and I'm throwing up a little bit in the back of my throat right now just thinking about it, I guarantee you... Uh, excuse me, someone has eaten that before, which I think is the worst part, honestly. <laughs> I'm pissed. Why are you so pissed, Mer? What happened? Yo, what's up, Dorothy? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Hope you're having yourself a good Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is it going? Surprising fact, maybe I eat a lot of fruits. If you come to my place, I have a Kit Kat hand. You better expect me to give it to you. I'll take the fruit. I I I'll take fruit over chocolate, too. Like, as much as I love me some Reese's, I love a good. I love pineapple, I love melon. I love grapes. I love fruit as a snack. Like, I, I always have, like, a bag of apples. Like, in my fridge at all times. Because I love apples with, like, just a little bit of peanut butter. Oh, yeah. That is the good stuff right there. 
John's from Philly? Oh, sick! I was just in Pennsylvania not too long ago, actually. Or, I say not too long ago, it was like three months ago. <laughs> it was like three months ago. But I was there for one of my best friend's weddings. Sorry, Murph, I missed what you said. It was a bidding I was looking at for on eBay that was the last thing for my allocation. It was $150 cheaper than normal. Hey, wait, that's not bad. I mean, if I was back in college, yo, true, that is like, uh, that is a bit of a struggle meal. I'm not gonna lie. That is a bit of a struggle meal. You aren't wrong, Arsenal. You aren't wrong. But I was too busy making that dumb image, so I didn't check the time, and now I missed it. No, Murph! The memes giveth and the memes taketh away. No! I'm from Philly. The Sidley of Brotherly Love, as they call it. True. Uh, I, uh, I'm a big wrestling fan. WrestleMania was just in Philly. And like I said, I was just in Philly. Not Philly, but I was in Pennsylvania a couple months ago. I was not in Philly. I was in Pittsburgh. Because my best friend got married in Pittsburgh. I'm going to Chicago this coming weekend, though. And I, that I'm very excited for. I've always wanted to go to Philly. It seems really pretty. I, I like, fell in love with Pittsburgh. I, I want to, like, maybe move to Pennsylvania someday. Because I just, I really like it. I, I was surprised how much I loved it. What about a salami eyeball sandwich? I mean, as long as you could only taste the salami, that probably wouldn't be that bad. If you could taste the eyeball, it'd probably be pretty gross. But if you could just taste the salami, I don't think it would be that bad. I'm not going to lie. Because it would just taste like salami. But if you could taste even a tiny little bit of the eyeball, no, nah, uh, absolutely not. Get it away. Kill it with fire. You have good chocolate taste? Hey, a true connoisseur of chocolate, Aaron. That's what I like to hear. Let's go. I've had that sandwich before, minus the mayo and whipped cream part. Peanut butter and sausage? Okay, I had a friend growing up. Like, this is a true story. This is a true story. Mind you, this is a real friend that Kai had growing up. This is not me memeing. This is not me joking. His favorite sandwich was peanut butter, bologna, and pickles. That was his favorite sandwich in the entire world. Peanut butter, bologna, and pickles. He would bring it almost every day to school. And I'm just like, no. I, I don't get it. I don't want meaty peanut butter. No, thank you. I am okay. I am good, but thank you. I like the apples at Dorothy's house. Solid, solid. Love a good apple. I could just, like, munch on an apple. I try to eat, you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> um, I try to eat, like, apples often because they actually are pretty good for you. They do have, like, some high sugar content, but outside of that, they have good vitamins and stuff. Love me some good apples. More of a, more of a, uh, like, a Granny Smith or a Red Delicious guy, but I, I've been lately getting into, um... Gala apples and pink lady apples, like they are very good. A little bit sweet, a little bit of tart, that's how we like it. Hershey Park main Philly attraction, IMO, I would love to go. Yeah, that'd be sick. I, I want to go, like absolutely without a doubt. I would love to go to Hershey Park. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I'm so mad, I've been waiting for three weeks for that. I'm sorry, Merv, just missing for a dumb reason. I'm glad you banned swearing, because I wouldn't... I'd be banned from YouTube if I wasn't censored. Oh, jeez. I'd try that sandwich. The salami eyeball sandwich, or the pe the butter bologna and pickle sandwich? Because I think I did try a bite, and it wasn't that bad. But just, the I can't get over the fact that that's what I was eating. It was, like, it was just so weird. Literally, that was the cheapest I was ever going to be able to get it. I'm sorry, Murph. Oh, that makes me so sad. I'm sorry. What's your favorite G-Max Pokemon? Mine is G-Max Pikachu. Uh, probably Scorch. Probably Scorch. I think. I really like G-Max Scorch. Otherwise, maybe... I'm trying to give other G-Max. Maybe Inteleon, because that's funny. It gets a gun. <laughs> probably Scorch though, because I love Scorch. Should try a peanut butter and cheese sandwich? Um... Doesn't sound that bad. I think my dad's eaten that before. He's had like a, a sandwich with peanut butter, apples, and cheese. That was like a sandwich he's eaten. I've never tried it, but it doesn't sound that bad. I've seen him eat that before. So that give us more bread options like a croissant? Yes, please. I would love a croissant. I could even go for, I just go for a croissant like right now, honestly. Like croissants actually, uh, croissants are so fire. I almost got one for breakfast this morning. So I went and got Starbucks for breakfast because I had to get some grocery shopping done. Um. So I, I was going to stop and get a croissant at Starbucks, but I ended up getting a chicken sandwich instead. Like a maple butter chicken sandwich or something like that. It was good. Can't believe you could literally make an onion sandwich that just sounds no nasty, like just onions and that's it. I don't think that sounds that bad. I don't think it sounds that bad. 
and this is coming from someone who doesn't even really like onions that much. Like, I don't think it'd be that bad. I mean, just plain onions on bread, yeah, it's not, it's not much, but like, it's a struggle meal, I guess. It is a struggle meal. College me probably would have eaten that, I don't even like onions. But no, I definitely, I see what you're getting at though, like, I definitely would not go out of my way to be like, yeah, I'll take an onion sandwich with extra onion, please. And maybe like some sweet onion sauce on the side, like, no, I'm not gonna order that, like, no chance. I get, I get what you're saying. Have you ever tried Honeycrisp apples? Yes, I have, and I do like them a lot. Not my favorites, but uh, they are very good. I mean, us Koreans have a lot of interesting meats, too. I mean, true. True. You aren't wrong. You aren't wrong. G-Max Flapple over G-Max Appleton. Do they even have a difference? Like, it, okay, like... Straight up, is there a difference between G-Max Flapple and G-Max Appleton? Buddy, I'm literally nowhere near you. Can you, like, kindly get off of me, please? Like, please, buddy. Like, come on, man. I don't think there is a difference between the two, is there? Like, I'm pretty sure there isn't, right? What do you think Urban Mystica takes like? Uh... Probably just very, like, heavily, like, very vibrant flavors, probably. But based on, like, whatever their, like, theme is. So, like, the the sweet one's a very, like, overpowering sweetness. The salty one would be, like, a very overpowering saltiness. The way I see it is it's, like, the catch-all seasoning. So, like, you know how they make, like, the seasoning blends? It's, like, Cajun-style seasoning, Italian-style seasoning, like, something like that. I see Romistica as, like, the ultimate blend of, like, seasoning plus the flavor you're go profile you're going for. So I think no matter how much or how little you use it, it'll automatically taste, make your food taste as perfect as you want it to. That's the vibe I got. My neighbors are going to be pissed because I started yelling swears at 5 p.m. for... At 10 p.m. for 5 minutes straight. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. I doubt they'll care. Would you eat a Clauncher? No, I don't think I'd eat any Pokemon. I don't think I'd probably eat any Pokemon. Later on, sweet garlic chicken menu, new on all Chick-fil-A menus. Wait, Chick-fil-A is sweet garlic chicken in Korea? Like, is that actually a thing that, um, uh, on, like, Chick-fil-A menus in Korea? Because that sounds delicious, and I want to try that. That sounds so freaking good, it's not even funny. Us Korean barbecue guys are probably super happy. No kidding. That sounds so good. I like Dorothy's apples. The apples in my area are very fresh and sweet. Aaron loves them. I see that. Y'all are gassing up the apples. Like, I feel, is there, like, a specific type of apple that's only native to California? There probably is, right? Because, like, I know there's apples only native to Michigan where I live. I believe it. I don't think so, but I could imagine. Fair. It just sounds really good, like a sweet, like, not like a sweet, but like a, like a little spicy garlic chicken. That sounds so fire. Oh, shiny Orthworm, let's go! Hey, let's go, dude! Shiny Orthworm, get back here, you. Get back here. All right. Big Shiny Wormy on the screen. Let's go, dude. Okay. What do you learn at level 24? Let's freaking go, dude. Have you, ever, have you guys ever tried, like, um, like fried caramel apples? Like, like you take, like, caramel apple, you, like, chop it up, and then you, like, fry it in, like, in, like a pastry? It's so good. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. All right, level 24. You're going to have Iron Head, Bulldoze, Smackdown, Mud Slap, nothing to hit yourself. Awesome. I would eat a LeChonk. I don't think I would even eat a LeChonk. I'm not going to lie. Caught him off guard. Let's go. I just don't want to spend too much on a stupid Funko Pop. Like, how hard should that be? I mean, you ain't wrong. Let's go. Let's go, Link. I was here. Let's go, Arsul. Let's go. Looks like I know what I mean if I come to Dorothy's house. Dorothy and Aaron said the apples and Aaron said the apples are very good and I trust them. Yeah, definitely. Seems like you got to. Aaron's gassing up the apples and the grapes. Terrence blue by four. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So it's a blue shiny. Yo, what's up, Toadette? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Saturday. So it's a blue shiny. We got either dive ball, quick ball is an option, or grape ball, and maybe net ball. I think dive ball looks the best because it's kind of got like the silvery part. Uh, I keep forgetting I can Thunder Wave this thing because we're not hunting electric types anymore. How's it going, Toda? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Link, you think Dive Ball? I'm kind of agreeing at the moment. It does, I think, match the best. What does everybody else think? What are we feeling, guys? What are we feeling? I think Dive Ball makes the most sense in my opinion. Don't worry about the first three. <laughs> Terrence Blue Boys. I wasn't going to ask, but I appreciate the clarification on that. Thank you. Getting the Dive Ball with the crit capture. Let's go, baby. Shiny Orthworm on the squad. Let's freaking go, dude. Big Shiny Wormy on the team. That's what we like to see. No, Shanks, you don't need to learn Roar, buddy. When attacked, this Pokemon will wield the tendrils on its body like fists and pelt the opponent with a storm of punches. Let's go. It is a male. Um, I'm going to actually just name it. I'm not naming it Terrence Blue Boy the fourth. I'm sorry. I'm going to name it Earthworm Jim, I think. Earthworm. Do I have enough room? I think I barely do. I'm going to name you Earthworm Jim because it's a male. Earthworm Jim has been added to your party. Let's go. And then my Shinx is going to try and evolve. No thanks, buddy. Name it Teal Crayola. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just going to go Earthworm Jim, I think. I, I like Earthworm Jim. What's your favorite flavor of cake? Uh, I'm a big ice cream cake kind of guy. Uh, but otherwise, just cake. I'm not usually a huge cake person, but I would probably say red velvet. Red velvet's probably my favorite flavor of cake. I love me some red velvet, like some cream cheese frosting. Straight fire. Straight fire. I've been waiting for so long. I'm sorry, Murph. You took my earthworm idea? Yeah, it was a good shout. It was, an, it was not a bad shout at all. Plus, the earthworm gym games were fun. I remember liking those games as a kid. So, we take those. We take those. Alright, so... What is a good idea for a steel type that we can go and try and hunt? What are we feeling, guys? What are we feeling? What's a good steel type we can go hunt? Paldea Dex. What's a good steel type we can go try and get? According to our Star Wars Pokemon crossover, that is Red's favorite cake. I can see it. It's red. Red velvet. Ah, I see what you guys did there. I see what you guys did there. I have some red velvet cake right now. I'm actually jealous. That sounds so fire. It'd be cool to have an all creamy name to your Masu. It feels like a pretty name for it. That would be really good for a shiny uh, all creamy for sure. Like really good for a shiny because it actually looks like tiramisu. Like it's kind of like that brownish grayish color, isn't it? All creamy shiny. Yeah, it's like a grayish. I mean, I think tiramisu is more brown, but it is a very good name for it. I do really like that name. Tiramisu is a very good name. Okay, no, it kind of does. It kind of does. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a perfect name for an all creamy. I like that. I'm weird. I don't eat cake. Usually I don't either, but like I, I do really like red velvet. I'm not a big cake guy. Like I'm more of like an ice cream person than cake. Tink a tink. Um, tink a tink's not a bad shout. I think I have one already. Uh, Corviknight. Corviknight's also not a bad shout. I do have one of those as well. Probo Pass and Lucario. Uh, Lucario, we have. I don't know where to find a Probo Pass. Does anybody know where they spawn? Does anybody know where Probo Pass spawn? Because I know where Nose Pass spawn. And yeah, I've got a Tinka Tink already. Is anybody not a cake person on my birthday? <laughs> Your cake. No joke. This is a funny story you bring it up, Dorothy. My parents for my birthday, uh, they would get a cake for all of the guests. So, like, the guests get a cake. And then what they would get me would be a stack of Boston cream donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> that would be my cake. It would be six Boston cream donuts stacked up on top of each other. And then everybody else would get like a normal cake. That was my cake growing up because I was not a big cake person. But everybody else was so that we had to appease everybody. Ice cream is better than cake. I agree with that. Same in Fritzy Boy. Nose Pass, we've had a kid at Kami. Okay, we could do that. Oh, Nose Pass isn't part steel yet though. Wait. So, Dorothy's right. Nose Pass can be found in Kitakami. Does Probo Pass spawn there, too? Hmm. Bronze Ore's not a bad shout, Link. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, too, Arsol. I'm thinking. That's awesome. Sounds like a great birthday. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't complain. I didn't complain. Those are some good Boston cream donuts. I have breakfast for the next, like, day or two. As in addition to my cake. Cake, I say. Um. Hmm. Does anybody know I'm trying to think here man hmm 
Does Probo Pass spawn in Kitakami? If only we can spawn Metagross. We do have a Shiny Beldum, so we can just evolve that. So that is a big plus. Um, I'm like going through the Paldea decks right now. I'm not seeing any steals that stand out. Like the only one that I can think of is maybe like Q-Fan or Kappa Raja. Next Shiny needs to be named Squidward. We already have a Shiny named Squidward. Our Tentacruel's name is Squidward. Duraludon, we do have a Shiny Duraludon already. I could do Q-Fan Kappa Raja. What do you think about that, guys? Q-Fan Kappa Raja? What are you looking for? <laughs> it's too bad to listen. Steel type, Smurf Steel type. King Gambit's not a bad shout. Do I have a Bisharp or Ponyard yet? That's not a bad shout, Plushy Man. That's not a bad shout. So we've got Q-Fan as a suggestion. We've seen Probopass as a suggestion. Um, every other suggestion I think that's been said I've already gotten. So Ponyard, Q-Fant, or bronze or probo pass guys or bronze or what are we thinking because i'm going through the rest of the decks i'm not seeing anything else at the moment we could do bronze or i want to suggest a pair that all the steel ones are in violet yeah because i want to do iron treads because i really like that one but yeah all the steels are violet exclusives sadly and i can't get shiny gimme ghoul otherwise i'd go for that because it's shiny locked Pomiyar has a really good... I think it's supposed to be Ponyard. Ponyard? All right, I'm seeing some love for Ponyard. I'm seeing some love for Ponyard. Well, hello down there. Come here, you. Would you like to come say hi? Do you want to come say hi? Say hello. How are you? What are you up to? You causing all sorts of trouble? Hmm? Are you causing all sorts of trouble? Oh, I bet you are. That's just a little baby girl. Causing all kinds of trouble. Uh, I guess she wanted pets because now she's going to stand on my thigh while I pet her. <laughs> fortress is a good spot. All right, where's the fortress spot? You guys come up with the idea. I'm just going to sit here and pet my cat. <laughs> you guys give me the idea. I'm going to pet my cat for a bit. Skarmory would be cool. Where does Skarmory spawn? I actually have no idea. I actually have no clue where Swarm responds, but that is a good shout, Plushy Man. It looks like my cat. Aww! My uh, neighbors have a cat that looks a lot like her, too. I had that exact same cat. His name was Pippin. I love that name. That's adorable. Ponyers in North Province Area 2 Bamboo Forest. Yes, that I know for sure. Waylord? Waylord's not a steel type, though. My name is Luna. That's my parents' cat's name. Or my sister's cat's name. My parents' cat's name is Nova, but my sister has a cat named Luna. Pollyon and Tag Tree Thicket. Wouldn't it be easier just to do the Bamboo Forest? Because I think there's more spawns there, isn't it? Fortress in the area above Castoria Lake. I don't think I want to go there. <laughs> I don't want to go to Lag Lake. Uh, why don't we just do Ponyard? And then if we got time afterwards, maybe we'll, we'll jump into something else. Because I don't think I have a Bisharp or King Gambit yet. So we'll do Ponyard. We'll go ahead and go with Ponyard. The Forest of the Legendary Gate? Yeah, I knew where you meant. Like, the area that's, like, it looks like it's always fall. Like, that area, right? Let's do Ponyard. My newer cat's name is Zelda. Oh, nice! My, uh, girlfriend's brother has a cat named Zelda. It's a very, very good name. Alright, Ponyard, where you be, buddy? Where you be, little guy? There you are. Man, we're just going for the blue shiny theme tonight, guys. We're just going for the blue shinies, I guess. That seems to be the theme at the moment. Blue shinies only. <laughs> All right. Ponyard's on the layout. Looking good, buddy. Uh, you're probably fine right there. Let's make you a little bit bigger. There we go. An Orthworm, let's scoot you over. Perfect. Yeah, we are really going for the blue shinies night tonight, guys. My dog's name is Clara. She's a sweet dog. Aw. Didn't you say she's like, um, isn't she like, didn't you say she's like part poodle, I want to say? I thought I remember you saying that. I thought that's what I remember you saying. I could be wrong about that, but I thought that's what she said. That's my team's main uniform color, the blue. It looks good. Blue is a very solid color. Teal's one of my favorite colors, honestly. It's probably top five. She's got Maltese and Poodle. I knew part of it was Poodle. I couldn't remember what the other half was. Um, okay. So, 
<laughs> I'm gonna need a minute because I actually don't remember where the bamboo forest is. <laughs> I forgot where it is. Uh, where's the bamboo forest? I know it's like where you find the um. Is it here? It's here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. That's where the fighting team star area is. So I'm pretty sure it's the right spot. Maltese and Poodle is definitely a good dog combination. Very much so. Baby Blue and Dark Blue just kind of hit different. You ain't wrong. It's a good combo. Alright, we got a couple of Bisharp spawning. I see some Ponyard spawning as well. I think this is as good enough as the area as any. Let's get our... Uh, let's get the uh, shiny goggles on, shall we? See if we can find another, uh, another blue shiny. Our third or fourth blue shiny in a row, I think. Why is just a random Scyther here? Chris Platt, Chris Pratt will play Jigglypuff and Detective Pikachu too. Is that actually confirmed? Because Chris Pratt's been kind of all over the place with like the. Are you okay, buddy? Are you okay, buddy? I'm just gonna take a screenshot of that real quick. <laughs> that poor Bisharp was stuck in a rock. Poor guy. Poor guy. But I can see it because Buddy's been like all over the place with the the licensed movie appearances. She's very pretty white too. I've had people chase after a card petter. Oh, I think I remember you saying that before too. She's very popular, it seems. Well, I mean, like I get it though, because like if I see a, a a cute dog, I'm be like, I gotta pet that dog now. Like I I gotta pet that dog. I get it. I get it. I'm just joking. Okay, I could not tell because like with the amount of licensed movies he's been in, I wouldn't be like that surprised, I'm honestly saying. Scissor would be cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't know if Scissor can spawn in the wild in this game, can it? I honestly don't know if Scissor can spawn in the wild at all. If it can, then yeah, it, it would be cool. But otherwise, like, I feel like for some reason it can't. So doesn't it, it needs a metal coat to evolve, right? If you could have one Pokemon as a pet, what would it be? Oh, that's such a tough question. Um, okay, so the first answer I thought of is Arcanine. Um, the first answer I thought of is Arcanine. Because, like, I want a big giant dog <laughs> that I could just, like, ride around everywhere. Uh, I really would like that very much, yes. Um, otherwise, like, I love otters, so probably Oshawa would be up there. Um, hmm, I guess one of those, I guess one of those would probably be my choice. I'm definitely more, or Sprigatito, because like, obvious answer is obvious. Anybody who knows me knows I would guess, I would say Sprigatito. I'd say that'd be my top three, Arcanine, Sprigatito, and Oshawa. We were talking about Super Mario Wonder yesterday, what did you think of Mario Odyssey? I love Mario Odyssey. I love that game. It is so freaking good. I had such a fun time with it. I love Mario Odyssey to pieces. I sold my copy, but I loved it. It was so fun. I loved everything about that game. When it first came out, I played it for like 12 hours straight because I was just having so much fun. I just wanted to go through and get all as many moons as I could. I love Mario Odyssey to pieces. I definitely want to get it again because I want to play it like on the channel and also just play it again on my own time because I never completed it completely. Um, but I'd really like to like be able to get it back so I could actually like get as close to 100%ing it as possible because I wasn't able to do it before. Glammeow. Glammeow is a good shout. Nice little kitty cat Pokemon. My pet Pokemon would simply be Dialga. Uh, simply because he's so, so cute. He's not being legendary. Also, your team because that thing is my bestie in our <laughs> tramping trips. Dorothy's gonna rule the world with her pets. I love it. <laughs> Actually, so mad I like I was having my first good day in Solomon, but now I can't play Dragon Quest. My wrist hurts so much, and I missed the bidding. Like what ruined that ruined my week? Oh man, that's frustrating, Murph. I'm sorry. Well, maybe like maybe it didn't get sold, so maybe you'll have another chance to pick it up, or maybe like somebody else will have one being sold or something. I don't want that to ruin your entire week. Can legally own an otter in many states? Oh, I know. I've checked. I have checked. I'm not going to lie because I, I wanted to know. I want to know. 
Can you show me? I wanna know about these strangers like me. Should bring back riding Pokemon. I'd love to ride around on a Tauros or a Snorlax. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, they kind of had that with Coridon, but Coridon and Maridon are the only Pokemon you can ride on, obviously. But I remember, like, in Sun and Moon, you could. it was like Machamp, Charizard, Tauros, Sharpedo, Lapras. There was a bunch of them. I could see them bringing it back, though. Especially for Legend ZA, because, like, Legends Arceus had riding Pokemon. I could definitely see them bringing it back for ZA for sure. Dratini for me. Dratini is a very good shout. Little little dragon snake guy. Very solid. I like it. Imagine having a pet Arceus. This is my pet. God. <laughs> he created all of the universe. No, it's not like a big deal or anything, though. <laughs> Giratina was always nuzzling up against me and Cap, and his little dialogue was, Giratina wants to be with you forever. That's adorable, but also a little bit ominous because... Uh, a little bit um, ominous because he's like... The like uh, the Pokemon's fallen angel and everything, but that's nice that like uh, the Giratina wanted to snuggle up nice and close. Who knows? Maybe Giratina has an affectionate side, guys. Seems like Dorothy has found it. Ash's Dragonite. Ash's Dragonite would be a good shout. Dramp because if anyone bullied me, he would burn their homes down. I mean, that's one way of looking at it. That is one way of looking at it. He just wants hugs? He do be liking the hugs. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong about that. Oh, hey, the Bishark got out of the rock, guys. I'm so proud of it. It got sold, and f other people are selling him for, like, four times the price. Oh, my God. Why so expensive? Like, that was the lowest I've seen since I started looking in August of 2023. You've been looking for this thing for, like, eight months almost at this point? Jeez, that's insane. Maybe somebody else will put one on eBay. You never know. You never know. If it happened once, it'll happen again. Just might take a little bit of time. My Xerneas hated playing with Giratina. <laughs> I can imagine, like, a DD of life doesn't probably get along with Giratina very much. That does make sense. Also, Metagross and I love each other. Metagross is dope. Metagross would be, like... A cool Pokemon just to be like as like a um like a power like a power grab kind of thing. Like this is my this is my giant metal tank. What's up? How's it going? Be like a very good status symbol almost. Like, yeah, I have a giant metal tank. What of it? Imagine taking Yuri Veltel for a walk in the park. Buddy would walk past the tree and it would wither. <laughs> He'd accidentally bump into somebody's dog and would age by six years. My pets would either be Drompa, or Sne Drompa Sneasel, or Toxpex. That's a wide variety. All right. Not bad. I want to ride my Evelt all around. Just, like, hook up, like, a, um, like, ride on it, like, attach, like, a backpack to it or something. Or, like, a parachute and, like, fly through the air. That'd be actually pretty sick. All right, you might have convinced me. I'm not going to lie, you've kind of convinced me. <laughs> or even just like a big bird in general I'd be happy with, because I could just fly around everywhere. Or Meowth with Payday. I see what you're getting at, Arsol. I'm picking up what you're putting down. A little, little bit of a way to make some extra cash. I dig it, I dig it. Or like the Eons and Omega Ruby off of Sapphire. True, true. It's a good shout. Oh, I would love to have a pet Latios, man. Or no, I'd probably want Latios more, but... It definitely would be cool to have one, without a doubt. I love Latios and Latias. My pet would be Jirachi so I could go back in time and never make that stupid image ever again. <laughs> oh no. Are you sure you don't even want Dialga then? Are you sure you want Dialga then, Murph? And Omega Rufy Dorothy was flying around the shiny Yveltal. True. I mean, like, if you got it, might as well. If you got it, you might as well put it to use. Give it some, um, some good moves and stuff. And Fly's not a bad move. Like, if you don't feel like Eon fluting, it, it is pretty convenient. Celebi wouldn't be an adorable pet. I would love a pet Celebi. I would love a pet Celebi. 
I love Celebi so much. It's one of my favorite mythicals. We out of time? Yep, we are out of time. No shiny uh, Bishop for us, unfortunately. Alrighty. So next up on the docket... Oh, I just barely beat that Luxio to the punch. Uh, so next up on the agenda, we have a couple of options. So first up, there is a Sinistra here, a Sinistra raid. And then the other one I was looking at was... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Tyro... Wasn't there one here? Oh, yeah, here it is, the Alolan Muck. So the two I was looking at next were Sinistra and Alolan Muck. Does anybody have a preference? Because we're going to do both of them. Uh, I just wanted to see what order you guys are thinking we should go in. Erm, um, actually, Celebi travels back in time? Yeah, it does. You aren't wrong. What, what brought that up? Dialga made time that dies means he can travel through it. Also, I meant Celebi. Oh, okay. Mucky boy? Okay. I see a vote for Muck. Since Outbreak Sinchaz can't be antique. I don't care! I don't care. I just want it. I don't need it to be antique or whatever. I just want I just want my shiny matcha pail. That's all I want. Someone traded me a Kyogre named Sarah. <laughs> Why was it named Sarah? Maybe somebody named it after like their girlfriend or something. I would love a pet Deoxys. I would love a pet alien is basically what you're saying. <laughs> I would love a pet creature from outer space. I mean, true. Like... It would be pretty cool. Jaxus would be a great pet. This is my pet alien. Hello. Need a shiny antique teacup? I don't know if I want to do that to myself. Alright, we're going to start with Muck, I think. Alright, let's get you off the screen, buddy. Let's go grab this Muck. Where, oh where, will I find the Muck gift? Where is it? There he is. Perfect. There he is. There's the buddy. There's Big Bad Muck. And it's not a, uh, a blue shiny this time, guys. You need a shiny antique teacup? Like I said, I don't know if I want to do that to myself. That sounds awful. Hi, this is my pet Garchomp. It create, create earthquakes. Hi, this is my pet Garchomp. It caused a magnitude 8 the other day. <laughs> That's so messed up. Gianna, wow, no, get him away from me. I don't think we want to deal with that, nah. Yeah, that could be a pain in the butt. It'd be cool to have a giant dragon, but, like, I don't know if you want it to be causing earthquakes when it just takes a step, you know? Everyone say hi to my ginormous sea serpent dragon that can fly. Yo, true. Alrighty, let's hunt some mucks. I'm running you right now before you hunt Poltergeist is the hardest shiny seed I've ever hunted and I've hunted Slowpoke. I spent six hours and didn't see a single shiny Poltergeist. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Alright, maybe, we'll, maybe it's a good thing we start with Muck then, guys. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing we're starting with Muck then. I think that works out pretty pretty good. Kyogre. Kyogre would be pretty cool to own the, the god of the sea, essentially. It would be pretty neat. I think that would be pretty dope, actually. Alright, five. Six. Hi, this is my little buddy. His name is Zygar. He, mains, or, he maintains the order of the universe. He's just my little guy. Oh, we got Clover Sweet. Nice. So we can evolve a uh, Milsery. Uh, eight. Nine. Ten. Little Blizzard, nice. We could get it to a Sprigatito, I wish. 11. 12. There we go. At night, I have a martial arts loving bear from an alternate Kung Fu Panda. Or <laughs> Shifu switch and strikes everyone. <laughs> For real. Gully, can you please attack the muck, buddy? Can you please attack this muck, buddy? There you go. 13. Oh, God dang it, man. 
It's super tiny. The only thing that changes is the top. It changes from black to green. It's tiny and it moves super fast. This does not sound like it's going to be a fun hunt. Murph, you're scaring me. 13. 14. I just really want one because I really like it. 15. But now I'm scared. 16. 17. Dude, how many times am I going to bump into a bunch of other Pokemon over here? Like, come on, man. I think we're on 16, I want to say. 17. There's a Grimer over here, too. 18. People who played Sun and Moon Blind probably thought the alone Grimer was shiny. Honestly? Probably. 19. 20. Oh, that muck's about to fall off a cliff. Poor guy. 21. I'm sure there was somebody that that happened to. I'm sure there was. Somebody not knowing by the forms or something. 22. 22. Go get him, buddy. Okay, well, I didn't mean for you to get to the, to get the grimer, but I guess that's fine. Dude, I am bumping into so many little deer, it's not even funny. Dorothy and I had a Pokemon battle once. Dorothy's a Lucario hit one hit, killed a Dialga, a Kelly, a Giratina, and a not taking a single hit. Kyogre's, or, uh, Lucario's strong. People sleep on it. 23. 24. It hits like a truck. 25. In one of the draft leagues, I mean, it's literally the, uh, KO leader right now. 26. 27. 28. 29, 30, halfway there, 31, 32, yeah, Terra, especially with Terra, Terra Lucario is so good, you can Terra Normal E-Speed, you can Terra Steel Bullet Punch, Terra Fighting Vacuum Wave, 34, 35, it's such a good Pokemon, 36, 37. Get this guy. 30. Okay, or not. 38. Leave the dealing alone, delayed. 39. 40. 41. I'm going to pay te close attention to this because it's kind of hard to see. 42. All that changes is that the green changes to purple. 43. 44. 45. Shiny Deerling appears at KO60. I will actually scream. 45. 46. 47. 48. I will actually scream if that happens. It'd be pretty funny though, I'm not gonna lie. 49. 50. I played one match of Pokemon against a random player and I killed his final Pokemon with a recoil move and died. Was it a tie then? Or did you. Uh, I'll probably give you the win since you initiated the KO. 52. 53. 54. 55. 56. Anytime, Galade. 57. 58. Three more. 59. 60. Let's see if the shiny dealing appears. I'll actually scream. Right, I don't see one. And one for good luck. Alright, so we've got all our t our of our uh, muck encounters taken care of. All of our muck encounters are done. We're gonna watch these ones closely. Make sure that we don't accidentally reset for one that turns purple. The colors also bleed into each other, which is gonna make it even more annoying, I bet you. Alright, none of these guys look shiny to me. So I think we'll go ahead and make our sandwich. None of them appear to be shiny. Alright, let's go ahead and make our sandwich. Oh god, that muck is like, just sprawled out across a rock, buddy. How's it going, buddy? Taking a load off, I see. I like it, I respect it. 
Alright, let's picnic. Then we want to do a dark type sandwich, I think. And we need smoked fillet for that, which I know we have because I just know we do. Because we had that whole conversation about the droppings of a of a Valooza or something. Cucumber pickle. Where are they? Smoke fillets. And then we'll go sweet and bitter. Why not? Looks good to me. Why did the color just disappear from my game for a second? Like, it went black and white for a moment. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Hello to you as well. How you doing today? Alright, let's lay some fish fillet. Yo, what's she order? What's she order? Fish fillet. <laughs> Let me stop. I need to stop right now. Okay. Get these pickles on there. Looking good. That is a lot of fish on one sandwich, man. I like fish, but that's a lot of fish. Gorgeous. I meant to ask. Best Mario Odyssey Kingdom. Ooh. Hmm. That is a tough one. Because you start... First up is... The Cap Kingdom. Then it's the... I can't remember the name of it. But it's like the... the, the the waterfall area. Um, then you have the lake kingdom and the um, the wooded kingdom. Probably wooded metro or maybe seaside, I would say. Or mushroom. Like, I, I would say wooded seaside or mushroom, probably. What do you think the best one is? I told you it's meant to be playing on the Game Boy. That's why I turned black and white. I mean, you you prophesized it. You prophesized it. I love Metro. It's so good, and the music is just phenomenal. The music is just phenomenal, without a doubt. Between, like, the festival with Jump Up Superstar, and then also just, like, the Metro Kingdom music, it's just so fire. Yeah, I completely agree, Aaron. I like Metro Seaside Mushroom. Hey, we got the same picks. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Yeah, they are some of my favorite. They are easily like my favorites. They're so good. And Luncheon. Luncheon's also very good. Place is so vibrant. Lake is good too. Yeah, I, I feel like Lake Kingdom doesn't get a lot of love, but I liked it. I thought it was neat. I didn't mind it. I feel like a lot of people hate it because meh, water level. But I thought it was great. I was like, oh, this is neat. It's a nice little, nice little kingdom. I love Seaside. Seaside is so underrated. I completely agree. It's so good. Seaside does not get the love that it deserves. In my opinion. I thought Seaside Kingdom was so good. Dude, it's like so hard to tell these muck apart. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think any of these guys are shiny. Hold on. Wait a minute. Are you? No, you ain't. This is going to be a little bit difficult to tell, I think. Yeah, I agree. Seaside is so underrated. What's the best and worst track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Well, the worst track is either Cheese Land or Bone Dry Dunes. Best? I really love Sydney Sprint. I really love... Um... Squeaky Clean Sprint. Um... Uh, Dolphin Shoals is dope. Um, Wii Rainbow Road, the remake of that's really good. Hmm. I really like uh, Wild Woods. Um, yeah, there's there's so there's a lot more good than bad, which is nice. There is way more good tracks than bad in Mario Party Deluxe, which is a very very nice thing to see, with how many tracks that there are. But yeah, Cheese Land and um. Uh, Bone Dry Dunes are the worst, in my opinion. We need a good Metroid movie? I'm so down, it's not even funny. I would love a good Metroid movie. Who would you cast as Samus, Arsol? Who do you think? Imagine if All Shines were like Garchomp, I would cry, man. I, that's a, I wouldn't be a shiny hunter if All Shines were like Garchomp. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I would, because I'd be like, ew, gross. They're all just this, like, slightly darker shade of the color they already are. 
And again, I guess if they were all like that, we wouldn't know what we were missing. So I guess there's that. So maybe we would still find them cool. Because it's all we knew. All we ever do is all we ever knew. I like Rainbow Roads. Very pretty. All the Rainbow Roads, I think, are pretty good. I think the only one I don't like is the... I think it's the SNES one. I think that's the only one I'm like, eh. We have the one that's just like a big old loop where you lay there like little tiny jumps throughout the track. That's the one I'm thinking of. Best is Mount Wario. Worst is Excite Bike Arena. Mount Wario is a very good shot. I forgot Mount Wario. That would probably be in my top five. Excite Bike Arena, I don't mind. I actually like it. Vancouver is good. Vancouver Velocity is fun. I do like that track for sure. It is very good. That is a good shout as well. Berlin Byways music is good. Berlin Byways does have good music. Berlin Byways has my favorite shortcut in the entire game. It is my favorite shortcut in the entire game because you can wait for the thwomp to fall and then you can use a mushroom to like shoot all across that big gap of water. Oh, it's so satisfying to pull off. It's my favorite shortcut to pull off. It doesn't even save time, but it just, it looks so swaggy. Like, I'm like, oh, look at me cutting all this time. Let's go. And in reality, it saves, like, almost no time. But it feels good when you hit it. It feels good to hit it. Should we get to list of all the Sinnoh Pokemon you can beat up in a fight? Why just Sinnoh Pokemon? I used to play Mario Kart Tour. I have a very large character collection there. I never played Mario Kart Tour. I always wanted to, but none of my friends were playing it, so I never got into it. What are your favorite Mario Kart Tour costumes? I don't know what any of them are. I think I've seen pictures of some of them. Um, isn't there one with Peach where she has like a kimono or something? Or like maybe I'm thinking of Rosalina. It's like one that's like kimono Peach or kimono Rosalina. I remember seeing that. I was like, oh my god, that's so sick. I love it. That's the only thing I can think of right at the top of my head. But uh, I did not play Mario Kart Tour, sad to say. I wanted to, but none of my friends wanted to play it. So I was like, oh, okay. I just didn't want to play it by myself. Hmm. Not seeing a muck. I'll just keep going. What's your favorite outfit in Mario Odyssey? Um. Hmm. That is a tough one. It might be an obvious answer, but I do really like the um, the Mario sixty four outfit. Bit of an obvious answer. But the retro gamer in me just loves that. Other ones I really liked. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like all of the ones. I remember there was a doctor one that I thought was kind of funny. Like it made me think of Dr. Mario. Um, what else was there? I'm trying to think of all the different outfits. I did really like the wedding tux. I did really like the wedding tux Mario outfit. Um, the samurai outfit was cool. Um, those are the ones that come to mind at least. I can't think of any more off the top of my head. Hmm. Yeah, I can't think of any more off the top of my head. But those probably be my answers. Oh, do it with all the Pokemon? We'll see. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. My favorite shortcut is the Grumble Volcano ending shortcut. Yeah, that one is pretty dope. Peach has a Komodo and Yukata ult. Okay, I thought I remember seeing that before. I remember thinking that looked pretty good. I don't know someone unknown. That's fair. Because I know, like, for a while, people wanted, like, Scarlett Johansson to do it. Which I could kind of see that. I could see that being her being casted. So my first few personally were the Samurai, yes, Astronaut, Resort, and Swimmer outfits. The Swimmer one was funny. I just like that there's a, a whole speedrun category for the swimwear. Like, it's funny. Like, there's a speedrun category called Nipple Percent, where you, like, give Mario the swim trunks as fast as possible. And, like, meme speedruns like that are my jam. Like, I think they're so funny. Tell me the best cup in Mario Kart Deluxe and why is it the Star Cup? It is the Star Cup, I know. Dolphin Shoals... Dolphin Shoals and Mount Wario carry, like, truthfully. Dolphin Shoals plus Mount Wario, need I say more? Like, honestly, that is just it. 
Currently working on difficulty hum rack. Yo, what's up, Jordan? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Saturday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Currently working on a difficulty ROM hack of Fire Red. Hey, that sounds dope. What are you trying to do? Are you like making it yourself or are you playing one? Because that sounds sick. What is it that you're working on? Builder was cool too. The builder was cool. Like the Mario Maker outfit. That one was sick. I agree. I'm going to start watching the Horizons anime. Hey, yo, let's go. You definitely should. We know how it is. I've heard nothing but good things. Everybody seems to be raving about it. I've heard nothing but good things about it. So hopefully you like it. Yeah, now I, now I want to play Mario Odyssey. I honestly might go to GameStop tomorrow and just see if they have a copy. Like, I honestly might. I loved Mario Odyssey. It was so fun. I, still, I guess I still need to finish Mario Wonder still. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow before uh, before streaming. But I also have, like, stuff to do. Like, I got a meal prep. I got to study for tests. By that, I mean I have to study for proctoring the test and make sure I don't screw something up. Because, like, if a proctor... So, with the tests that we're doing with the students right now, it's all, like, state testing. So, like, SAT, ACT, all that cool stuff. Um, and if the proctor screws something up, all the students' tests get invalidated, and they have to, like, retake them. So, I'm just really trying to make sure I don't screw something up for my students. And it's, it's been a lot of anxiety. We did it last week, too, and that went well, but now I'm nervous because we're getting into full-on SATs now. Last week we were doing PSAT, but this week is full on SAT, so now I'm anxious. Dolphin shows and Mount Wario carry so well. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt they carry so well. But with the added bonus of Sunshine Airport and Electrodome making number one. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. I love Sunshine Airport and the Electrodrome. They're so good. I feel like there's not that many spawns of this thing. Is this how I learned that a little muck is not a dark type? I thought that was the whole thing for it was that it's a dark type. Wait, you're a teacher? I am a teacher. I am indeed a teacher. <clears throat> Imagine the situation you can either take the final exam or you can battle your professor in a Pokemon battle? I mean... I know what I'm picking. <clears throat> I know what I'd be picking in that case. I'd be like, 1v1 me, professor. 1v1 me, gramps. I wish, man. I wish. That'd be sick. I wish that was the case. I would just bring, like, a, a metapod to the battle and be like, alright, all of you can pass. <laughs> all of you can pass. No, I wouldn't do that. I'd make sure I challenged them. I wouldn't just give them a free win. I still have some pride. I wouldn't want to lose willingly. I'm not just going to lay down and let him beat me. I, I got more pride than that. That's crazy? What's crazy? Like, that I'm a teacher? Or the situation that Eric uh, put forward? Coolest teacher ever? Hey, thank you. Appreciate you saying that. I like to think so. <laughs> Don't mean to brag or anything. Yeah, I have a bunch of students who um, participate. We have, like, a game club and everything. So we do, like, board games, video games, and stuff. Um, so they, uh, they've been having a lot of fun with that lately. And I've been having fun because I get to play video games and board games for an hour at work and get paid to do it. Both? A hey, true. I originally was going to be a, um, a physical therapist, but I hated my life when I was in that career path, so I dropped it. I just wasn't enjoying it. Press the Pokemon that they will be using will be listed and you can study the Pokemon they're typing before the exam date. See, that would be a good way to do it. That would 100% be a good way to do it. So you could like prepare accordingly. That would be a perfect way to do it. Catch Professor will tell you about type matchups and the class has to get together to study them or something, yeah. Like open team sheets or something. Like maybe you get the professor's team sheets in advance but they only get your team sheet like the day of the exam or something. That could make it interesting. That would make it very interesting, honestly. Because that way it still would be easy for the students, because they know what the teacher would be using. But then the teacher would have a bit of counterplay, like, too, because, like, they would be like, oh, this is what they're going to use to counter this, and so on and so forth. The best BC BCP cup is the Acorn cup. What's in the Acorn cup? I actually don't know. 
I actually don't know what's in that cup. I'm sorry. I can't remember off the top of my head. What's in the acorn cup? They are so lucky. <laughs> Appreciate you saying that. There are students who, like, legitimately will just come into my room to work sometimes. They're just like, oh, I just want to hang out in here with you. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> That's fine. That's heat, whatever. <laughs> I'm fine with that. As long as it's cool with your te other teachers, I'm good with that, too. Dorothy and Lucario. About to get swept up by that Lucario. That's what I'm saying. Rome, Avanti, DK Mountain, Daisy Circuit, and Piranha Plant Cove. Piranha Plant Cove is underrated. I, I do like that one a lot. Piranha Plant Cove is very solid. One I don't think that gets a lot of love, either. Rome, Avanti, whatever. It's fine. Daisy Circuit, eh. Uh, I'm not a big fan. Uh, but DK Mountain and Piranha Plant Cove are pretty solid. Also, you see the trust. Hey, appreciate you saying that. Thank you. That means a lot. Coming from someone who's easy to trust. Hey, let's go. I appreciate that. Thank you for saying so. I like to be very... I like to help people feel at ease and just chill. Like, that goes with, like, chat. Uh, that goes with, like, my students, family, friends, everything. I just like to make sure people are chill, having a good time, and that they're happy with where they're at. So, appreciate you saying so. Thank you. Back in high school, I was very close to my professors. They were no different from friends. Same. Like, no joke. I think I've said this before on stream. I'm still friends with um, three of my professors. Three high school professors and one college professor on Facebook. I don't even use my Facebook. But I, I am friends with um, three of my high school teachers and one of my college professors on Facebook still. Like, some of them written me letters of recommendation. For stuff before. Like, my high school professor, my high school science teacher wrote all my college letters of rec. Yeah, that's something I give advice to my students, too. Like, get to know your teachers. Like, get on their good side. Like, we could write you letters of recommendation for college. Like, that's what my teacher did for me. I had my, my uh, biology teacher and my uh, digital media production teacher write my letters of rec for college. And they got me into, I got into every single university I applied to. So that's why I tell my students, make friends with your teachers. Because we can write you letters of rec. And those are important. The only BCP cup that has a chance of being is Propeller Cup. What's Propeller Cup, son? So I, I haven't heard the one with Sydney Sprint in it yet. And I'm just saying, Sprinty, Sydney Sprint goes hard. Unless that is Propeller Cup and I don't know it. Which it very well could be the case because I don't have the cups memorized. <laughs> very lucky when it comes to Shiny Hand because it usually takes one sandwich and boom, Shiny. Heck yeah, that is good luck. It is a good day when you get one sandwich per, or one Shiny per sandwich. It's just everything beyond that's the crazy luck. I think you're good at that. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you saying so. You'd make a good therapist? Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. The other thing I was thinking about doing outside of teaching was guidance counseling. So I guess that kind of goes hand in hand a little bit. But if I want to do that, I'd have to go back to school and get my master's. And that costs a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. So. I don't know. I still might eventually. If ever I get, like, bored of teaching. I guess I could do that. Go back, get my master's, and do guidance counseling. I think that'd be kind of fun. I already, like, am an advisor for a lot of students. Especially for, like, the game club students. So. Kind of. I still write to my teacher from time to time. Do I have it back? Oh, that's awesome! I'm sure that teacher really appreciate it. Or appreciates that, excuse me. Found out that you can have Arceus and Violet? Yeah, you can get it from uh, transfers. You can transfer it in from Legends Arceus through Pokemon Home, I'm pretty sure. Ask some of the teacher most willing to use to write me Lazer Beck, and that's why well, I was surprised I get into all mine. Oh, I'm sorry. It's their loss, though. That's the way I see it. Like, that's the, what my professors told me, too. They were like, hey, if, anybody, if you don't get into university, that's on the university. You'd be a great fit for any of them. USC, you're a big loser here? Exactly. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're missing out. You're thriving now. That's exactly what I'm saying. They missed out. And you too, UC Berkeley? Yeah, screw UC Berkeley. We hate UC Berkeley. <laughs> but no, I completely agree with that statement. That's exactly what my professors told me. 
Like, if you don't get into it, it wasn't meant to be, and they don't deserve you anyway. I had, like, three boxes of shinies. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Sydney Sprint, Snowland, Mushroom Gorge, and Sky High Sunday. Uh, Sunday brings this couple down a lot. I agree with that, Shadow. I do agree with that, sadly. I was so hyped for Sky High Sunday when I saw it, and then I played, and I was like, um, it's a little underwhelming. UC Santa Cruz weightless this team with a 4.1 GP and the other one that weightless me was an impact major. That is insane. That is insane that you got weightless with a 4.1. I got I only had like I think I had a 3.9, I wanna say. Was my graduating GPA. So like not amazing, but pretty good. I I can't believe that was not if I would have seen someone with a 4.1 GPA with extracurriculars, I would have been like, yep, they're in. Get them in now. I want them at this school. Like, that's wild to me that they turn you down. Think being a teacher is worth it because it's a career I'm considering. It's worth it if you're looking to get like um, if you it's worth it if you like helping others. If it's something you're considering as a career to make money and like money's like a big priority for you, honestly, I'll be completely truthful with you and say probably not. Um, because I like everybody. It's no secret like teachers don't make a lot. Like no, everybody knows that. Um. But at the same time, it is a very rewarding position. I love my students to pieces. I love my fellow staff to pieces. Um, it's rewarding being able to help the students and help them realize their true potential. Uh, especially because I work with a lot of high schoolers, being able to like help them through like a very tough phase of their lives. So like, yeah, that aspect of it is really rewarding for me. Uh, if you're strictly looking for like a monetary gain, though, probably not. But if you just if you want to make like okay money and be able to help out students a lot. Then, yes, I would say so. I mean, the funniest thing about USD was that I got into its rival school. Hey, that's the best way to do it right there. Let's go. It's funny because two of the uh, the two final schools I have, I was deciding between were rival schools as well. The two last two schools I was picking between were rival schools. I ended up picking one over the other. So, I get it. That's the best way to get back at them. To go to the rival school. <laughs> Imagine bring your first Pokemon, bring your Pokemon to school day. First student brings a Charmander, second brings an even the youngest, most innocent student. The class brings her Zygarde. <laughs> this is my giant creature that maintains order of the universe. His name is Puppy. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. How much time we got left on this Muck sandwich? We have 10 minutes left. Okay, that's a good amount of time still. We got time, we got time. Plenty of time left. <clears throat> I just gotta keep my eyes open. Cause I am struggling a little bit to see this uh to see the spots of difference on Muck. It's like I know the the green turns purple. But oh, it's actually right there! <laughs> This is why I'm checking, because I'm literally blind, because that is a shiny muck right there. This is why I need to, like, pause and take a look and check, because I almost missed that and would have reset. Whoo, we got a shiny muck, baby. Let's go, dude. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and take a look at your learn sets real quick. A muck sandwich sounds nasty. I mean, you ain't wrong, Aaron. You ain't wrong. It does sound pretty gross. Alright, so I did save, right? Because this thing does have memento. Uh, so I think turn one we taunt it. Because this thing does have a memento. Studying under your guidance would be excellent. Also, my teachers were insane. They said it was okay for me to go on vacation for a week to a live from our play. Oh, yeah, why not? Like during the school year? Like, it's, you'll catch up. Like, I'm not gonna. If, if a student comes up to me and they're like, Hey, I'm gonna be away for a couple of days to celebrate my birthday with my family on this place I haven't gone to before that I really want to go. I'm not gonna be like, too bad, I'm gonna fail you for everything. I'm gonna be like, oh, sick, take pictures, I wanna see how it looks. Like, that's what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm, I would hope they wouldn't be like, well, you're gonna fail everything that you're missing while you're gone. That'd be, that'd be pretty screwed up. I'm back, all me for real. Yo, true. Tell them, Murph, tell them. My teacher said you don't need to worry about it. See, that's how a teacher should behave in that sense. Like, give you, I would give you your work and just be like, all right, get it to me when you get back. Cool. Like, you only have to do it when you're on vacation. Just, just, you can either do it early or you can give it to me when you get back. Like, take a day after you get back to do it. 
Sorry, I thought that was so mad. I also wrapped my wrist. I think wrapping your wrist was probably a good shout. And I don't blame you for being mad. I'm sorry that happened, though. Are any of you students Shiny Hunters? A couple of them are, actually, yeah. A couple of the Game Club students are uh, Shiny Hunters. They showed me their uh, collection in um, Sun and Moon, and then the other had a collection in uh, Scarlet and Violet. So, yeah. A couple of them are. A couple of them are, actually. I know I have teachers that are eager to fail kids and others that are chill. Yeah, it's kind of... I don't know. I, I would never want to go out of my way to be like, I cannot wait to fail little Timmy this year. Like, there's such a thing as tough love when it comes to teaching. But at the same time, like, there's a difference between tough love and outright, like, going out of your way to want to make the student's life a living hell. And I very much do not lean on that other side. Like, I am a big proponent of tough love when it comes to teaching students. Like, sometimes a student needs that. But at the same time, like, you gotta know where the line is. Like, you don't want to push them too far. Like, you're still there to mentor them at the end of the day. And that's the way I see it. Alrighty, so for this guy, he's got some yellow on him, he's got some pink on him, he's got some purple on him. Um, Luxury Ball's not a bad shout, what do we think? Uh, neither is Ultra Ball, Heal Ball's not bad. I think I'm, I'm leaning Ultra Ball, Heal Ball, or Luxury Ball, what do you guys think? Just run my Arceus into Violet, yo, let's go, dude. I still know Simon signed me online, which was only one submission from Y. It's the motto here, yo, let's go. You should have attached, like, a picture at the end, like, Greetings from Hawaii, here's my assignment. Hurts to spread my fingers far? Oh, poor Murph. Luxury? I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that Fritzy boy, I kind of agree. Let's go Luxury, because it kind of, like, it looks like an Alola Muck, it's, like, stacked in layers. Alright, let's give it a go. Ah, oh, didn't get it, alright, that's alright. Gunk Shot's gonna hurt a wee bit. No poison, please. I'm gonna zoom in on this guy. There he is. Look at the big, look at our big ball of sludge. All right, how long does the taunt, how much longer does the taunt last? One more turn. So we got one more shot of the luxury ball here. Why are kids bidding in for an item for a god? Like, uh, like the Arceus plates, like that kind of thing? Is that what you're bidding on right now? Is that what's going on in your game? That's funny. I just threw my hand onto my leg and was a bit too close to my other leg. I mean, Smurf, you need to stop hurting yourself like that. Merv, be careful, please. I need you to stop falling apart. Why does this woman have all the plates for God? I mean, maybe she's a rare collector or something. Yeah, this is why I talked to you, because I know you have a memento, buddy. I know you have it. Cannot fool me. Aaron hurts himself all the time. Please don't hurt yourself, Aaron. Unless it's an accident. Like, you can't prevent that. Can you just stay in the luxury ball, buddy? Two? Three? Hey! Asking you shall receive. Let's go, baby! Shiny Muck on the squad! Dang, everybody got fat levels from that. Let's go. There are over a hundred kinds of poison inside its body. Chemical reactions between different poisons are the source of its vitality. Nice! Um, we are gonna name you... Hmm. Um... I'm gonna name you Almonds. Almonds the muck. Let's go. We now have a shiny muck on the squad, baby. Let's go. And I'm pretty sure my entire team is going to evolve. <laughs> I'm pretty sure literally everyone's going to evolve right now. Except Orphan because it can't. No Sparky. Is Voltorb going to evolve now? No Duke Nukem. Stop. Bad Duke Nukem. You're not allowed to evolve yet. Alrighty. Dope. Alright, how much time we got left on this dark type sandwich? Three minutes. Is there anything we can get really quick? Probably not, right? Probably nothing we can get that quick. I mean, I guess we could go try. Uh, I guess we could always just look for another one here. Maybe give it away to a subscriber or something. Maybe we'll do that. Pawn your try again? Yeah, I mean, we got, we got a little bit of time. Let's give it a go. Why not? Why not? Never you up, never surrender, right? Let's do it. Why not? Uh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Right here. Let's try it. Why not? Why the heck not? Might as well. Might as well give it the old college try, as they say. 
All right, let's do it. We're also going to see some low kicks as well because it's a dark type sandwich, not a steel type. And we do already have a shiny low kick, so I hope that's not what I get. I, I don't want another one. I'm perfectly content just having one. I want a Bisharp or I want a Ponyard. Come on, buddy. Where you be? Show me a Bisharp. Show me a big blue Bisharp. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to, buddy. Do me a solid. Just show up. Come on, bud. Where are you? Don't have a ton of time here, Bisharp. Do me a solid. Hurry up. Come on, Bisharp. Please don't do this to me, buddy. Where, oh, where would a shiny Bisharp be? Trying to just peek around. I'm not seeing any blue on your Bisharp. Uh, wow, that buddy was really hunting me down for a second there. How much time do we got? Probably like less than a minute. No, uh, maybe maybe we're like two minutes. All right, another Bisharp. Nothing. Hmm. Not looking good for our heroes. I mean, we only had like three minutes. I didn't really expect to get this. Which favorite shiny? I personally love shiny. Any light blue shiny like Orthrum. Uh, my favorite shiny is Mimikyu. Mimikyu is my favorite shiny Pokemon. I love the way it looks. The gray, the gray and uh, tan and black looks so good. Rayquaza for me. Rayquaza is a very good shout. Rayquaza's gotta be like top ten shinies of all time. Like, I know I said I love Mimikyu, it's my favorite shiny. Rayquaza has to be top 10. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, Rayquaza is one of the best shinies in the game. Halucha's growing on me, of course. True. Very good shiny. Very good shiny. Because it looks like, it literally looks like a, a, a costume that a wrestler would make and wear. That's literally what it looks like. I love it. Oh, God. These fools are chasing me down. I think we're running out of time. Ah, that was just so bad. Mm, it's not looking like it, guys. It is not looking like it. We have 17 seconds left to try and get a shiny Bisharp. Or Pondered. It's not looking good for our heroes. Imagine watching WWE, hearing John see him. He says, you can't see me. Halucha! <laughs> At a distance where you can't see him, but that actually be... I want to see John Cena dressed as a Halucha now. I need to see John Cena dress up as a Halucha now. Ah, uh, no, no shiny. I need to see that. I, I need it. I need that in my life. I'm not going to lie. I need that in my life. All right. So here's the thing. I know, I know the Sinistra Hunt is going to be a pain in the butt. I know it. Or the Poultry Guys, whatever it's called. I know it's going to be a pain in the butt. I know it is. But I'm not going to lie, guys. I really want it. I really want it. I'll take a look and then we'll see how bad it is. And then if I feel like it's going to be too bad, we won't do it. I think that's going to be the play. I think that is going to be the play. Because if it's really that bad, we probably don't want to do it. Because Murph was talking about how it's gonna it's it's such a pain in the butt. And I trust Murph's shiny opinions. You can't see me now, you can. True. Can I link trade you? Uh, not at the moment. What did you want to link trade me? If we want it, we do it. That's the motto here. You ain't wrong, that is true. We gotta at least give it an attempt. And I do love Sinistra and Poltergeist. Okay, where is it? Where is it? My sprite thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So it, Murph is right. It turns instead of being brownish black, it turns to a like a, a darkish green color. So let's give it a go. My extra shiny Q fan. Oh, I don't. I usually take shinies from people because I like to earn mine. But I appreciate the offer. Thank you. I like to earn all my shinies and get them myself. But I appreciate the offer. It's very kind of you to ask. I just like to get all my stuff on my own. Alright, let's get the poultry guys on the left. Oh god, it's so tiny. It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. Alright. Save for progress. 
And let's go for it, I guess. Let's do it. Woo! I'm trying to hype myself up a little bit because I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous to do this. And we're off. Because I get the feeling it's not going to be a fun one. Pull up a little bit, Karidon. Thanks, buddy. Right, where is this thing going to be at? Can I, I can't look at my map in the air. Aw. All right, so it's like right on the road, so maybe that'll be not too bad. All right, you found a mass fabric of poultry, guys. How small are they? Okay, um, not great, but not that bad. Definitely not great, but not that bad, I don't think. All right, I'm gonna save. Let's give it. A, let's give it a go. Let's do it. Why not? I love this Pokemon. I want to use one. I want a shiny one. We just gotta, we're going to have to just look very closely, guys. Just got to look extremely closely. We even have Gallade here to do some auto battling if we need. Four. Five. You can also throw your Pokemon out and see which one your Gallade does and does not attack. That is probably what we're going to need to do for this. So we might need to reset a couple more times on this one. Six. Seven. Uh, Gallade. This, this guy right there. Eight. As long as we can see them, I think we're okay. As long as I can see them, I think we're alright. I wouldn't recommend going on Karina. It's hard to see that the most zoomed in is better. Okay, I'll do that then. Let's do... Oh yeah, that actually is easier. Eight. Nine. That is a good shout. 10. 11. If you do that, you only get 40 60 characters because then the outbreak will disperse. Yeah, I know. 12. I think we're at 12. Third. I think that was 12, I want to say. 13. 14. Why is it just a random swine up here? Like, that does not seem like the place you should spawn, buddy. I think that was 14, I want to say? Pretty sure. 15. No, hi, Krakatot. 16. Glade, it's, it's right there, buddy. Uh, I think that was 16, I want to say. I'm losing track. 17. I've definitely lost track right now, but it's all good. Uh, I don't even see any more. Oh, there's some over here. I see them. 18. Glade, any time, buddy? 19. 20. Not me bidding 4k on a rock, but it's a magic rock. But it's a magic rock. Alright, so we're at 20, I believe, so far. 21. Get back here, you. I saw you running. 22. Uh, where are more Poltergeist? Where are they? I can barely see them. 23. 24. Do you guys think it would be better to go for a grass sandwich or a ghost sandwich? What do we think would be easier in this case? Because I actually have no idea which one would be. 25... 26. I honestly have no idea which would be easier. Do you have shiny charm? I do have a shiny charm. Yes. I do indeed. 27. Delayed. Right there, buddy. 27. 28. So right there, we're in a group call with somebody. Dorothy Ramley played this shiny sound from Legends Arc to make them jump. Plot was he was shiny hunting. Oh, dang. That is a good prank right there. I think that's 30, I want to say. That is a very good prank. I would freak out if somebody did that to me. Although I'm not playing Arceus, but still. 31. 32. That's so good. 33. Oh, I think my Galee just KO'd a Sentry for no reason. Love that. 34. 
Daily Shy has my current notification sound. Oh yeah, I think I remember you saying that, yeah. That's so funny. 35. 36. 37. 38. So is this a ghost type that can spawn during the day as well? Because if so, I think it makes more sense to do a ghost sandwich. 39. 40. I think it can spawn during the day because it seems like it's still daytime. So I think we should be good. That friend still hasn't seen my shiny sauce book. Shiny sauce book, what? 41. Forty-two. Did, is Saucebuck in Pokemon Legends Arceus, or was that in Scarlet and Violet that you got it? Forty-three. Hello, Elaine. Forty-four. Remember I ran into the Om Oh yeah, I remember you saying that now. Forty-five. Forty-six. I remember you saying that now. My bad. I got confused. My B, my B, my B. My B, my B. 47. 48. Scarlet Vi, I don't play PLA because of. Oh, true. 49. Yeah, I remember you saying that before. Duh. 51. Accidentally caught a shiny sauce bug. I mean, like, accidents happen sometimes for the better. 52. And that is definitely a better, one of the better accents that could have happened. Faux show. 53. It's like a big old gaggle of them over here. 54. 55. 56. 57. of matcha powder where are you dude where are these guys are they not spawning because it's daytime please don't tell me that's the case okay now they're here 58 59 we're at 59 at the moment come on two more where are they man Dude, they are so hard to see. What? They definitely seem like they just like to spawn in this area over here more than the area I was just at. Right, I see one. 60. Oh, there's another one. And then there's our one for good luck. There's our one for good luck. I'll go check out these guys real quick. Oh, didn't even see you there, little buddy. Did not even see you there, little buddy. All right, so we hit our one for good luck. Let's take a peek. I'm telling you this hunt is hell. Well, I, I really want this Pokemon. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to undertake it. Because I really want it. I love Sol uh, Sinistron Poltergeist. I'm just going to make sure none of these guys through here are not shiny. And then I'll go ahead and make a ghost sandwich. All right, let's save it up. Then what do I need for ghost types? I need red onion, which I believe I have. Which I believe I do have. With us around the hunt should be bearable, right? I mean, it's definitely a lot more bearable than just sitting here by myself with my thoughts. So 1000%. Alrighty, let's make a sandwich. I think I have red onion to use. I do. Pickle, cucumber, looking good. We're gonna go bitter, 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 salty. Seems like a good combination. Let's do that. I'm running out of, I'm running out of picks, man. Gotta get more of those. Alrighty. Time to build an onion, pickle, and cucumber sandwich. Here goes nothing. Basically, it's a Subway Veggie Delight, right? I always humble chatting with someone if I do hunting alone and fun. Yeah, absolutely. 
I remember, like, um, when I was first, like, starting shiny hunting on YouTube, I was playing Sword and Shield and doing Masuda Method hunting. And I could only go an hour because I was so bored. I, got, I had nobody to talk to because I only had, like, 30 subscribers. Um, like, I, I could not. I just could not do it. So like, I could only stream for an hour before I gave up because I was just so bored. So thankfully, since y'all are here, I actually have people to talk to, which makes this a lot more bearable. So I completely get what you mean. Like, even when I was hunting in Sword and Shield, I had to bring in, like, a friend to, like, sit and chat with me. Because otherwise, like, I could not do it. You <laughs> Pickles? Do you actually not like Pickles? Or are you making a joke? Because I remember you said the onion sandwich earlier. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. We're gonna try it. And we're gonna hope it goes well. That's really all we can do at this point. All right, this should give me sparkling and encounter power for ghost types. You hate pickles? Really? Why do you hate pickles? Are they just like too salty or like, what do you not like about them? I love pickles. I had some pickles with my dinner because I had burgers. All right, let's give them a second to spawn. Oh, I don't want to be on Coridon for this. That's right. I want to be zoomed in. Why are there zero spawning? Oh, no, there, there they are. There they are. Alright, so we're looking for dark green, guys. We're looking for dark green. I can understand why you like them, but for me, it tastes really strong. It is very strong. I, I can agree with that. It's very, very salty, strong taste. Faux show. But I don't mind them. I actually really like them. My girlfriend's dad can't stand them either. And we always like make fun of them when we're when we go out to eat together. Pickles are the only foods I can't eat. Oh yeah, I think I remember you saying that before. And you made fun of me for not liking blue cheese. This hunt is hell. It it kinda seems like it's gonna be, but I I want it. <laughs> but I want it. But I want it though. I almost used this as a thumbnail, so we would have had to have gone for it then. But I used uh, a little of muck instead of this for the thumbnail. I had to put the charger bus in the in the thumbnail, man. Like, I, what do you think I am, a degenerate? The charger bus is going in the thumbnail, faux show. All right, I'm not seeing any at the moment. Oh, I can't even see you, dude. Imagine if that was a shiny, we would never see it. We would never see it, man. That's actually insane, dude. Alright, none of these guys look like they're shiny. I'll just do a reset. Have you had the Korean radish squares they serve on the side of the food? That stuff is pretty nice. Have I? Are they like the pickled radishes or am I thinking of something else? Because I do like radishes. I don't know if I'm thinking of the same thing as you though. Because I'm thinking of like the, like the, not like the pickled ginger, but like kind of a similar vein, I guess. Kind of similar-ish, I suppose. Let my little cousin play my copy of Pokemon X and Y. They name my Pokemon interesting things, to say the least. I can imagine. I can definitely imagine. It's funny watching someone who's never played Pokemon nickname their Pokemon. Because they just come up with random names. I thought that was a shiny foam mantis for a second. I'd be like, really? Really? Are we really doing this right now, buddy? I have to, like, get really close to these poltergeist. Otherwise, I cannot tell. Like, once you get up to them, it's pretty easy to tell. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty easy to tell. But it's finding them and getting up to them, that's the hard part, in my opinion. Like, it, it's very tough. It's very tough just seeing them at first, but once you get up close to them, you can barely clearly tell, like, that's not shiny. But, like, getting up to them and noticing, that's the hard part. For sure. I think that's going to be the thing I struggle with the most. I see a couple of guys up here. I'm going to take a peek at them. Pretty sure I was up here, but just to be safe. 
couple more through here. Anybody green? No, those are all very clearly brown. I thought, oh, there's many outbreaks. We can definitely do Sylvia. <laughs> but I saw that you're going to be here for the next two hours and 30 minutes. Well, it'll be worth it, though. <laughs> Aaron's cousin tried to beat the Elite Four with only a Veltal. I mean, I feel like that probably could be doable. I feel like that'd probably be pretty doable, I would say. A Gibble named Gobbler, a Gumi named Gurmachan, a Hariyama named Chubbo, and a Whimsor named Whizgizzler? What the heck? According to Mom, they're Radish Pickles. Oh, okay, yes. I, I think I have seen those before. I've never had them, but I've seen people cook with them before. I want to try them because they sound very good. But I, I have seen them before, but I have not tried them myself. The, uh, there's a, uh, a YouTube channel I watch called Mythical Kitchen. Um, and then I watched them. I don't remember what they were making. I think it was a, a chicken sandwich and they used like radish pickles as their pickles. And it looks so tasty. They make it yellow color. Yes, it is the same thing I'm thinking of. Yes, I have seen these before. I have not tried them. I want to. And they add salt and sugar. Yes, these are the things I've seen before. Because they made, like, a, a fancy chicken sandwich with, like, Asian-inspired um, ingredients and stuff. And instead of using, like, normal pickles, they use radish pickles for their chicken sandwich. And I really want... I've wanted to try them ever since. Like, it, they sound so good. I already like radishes, and I like pickles, so I'm sure I would love it. They're not as strong as an OG pickle. They have a really bearable taste. Okay. I probably would like them then. I probably would love them. Because I already, like I said, I already like radishes. And I like pickles. So I'm sure I would like it. Uh, oh, excuse me. I almost just tried to bring out Karaya and then I remembered. Whoops. Hmm. I'm surprised I didn't pull something like that on you in this game, where, like, you lose access to Coridon for a little bit and you can't use him. I'm surprised I didn't do that. Like, take away, like, your movement abilities or something, like, to get through an area. I'm honestly shocked they didn't do something like that. Dorothy and I used to use ChatGPT to give every legendary Pokemon a favorite food dessert! <laughs> I love that. What were some of the uh, ones you guys came up with? Or I should say ChatGPT come up with. Area Zero, they, they did? Did they? Oh, yeah! They did do that! Oh, right! I forgot! Wow, I gave them too much credit. I thought they would... I, I was about to gas them up and be like, at least they wouldn't do something stupid like that. And then they did something stupid like that. Dang, I take, back, I take it back. I was gassing them up. I take it all back, though. I completely forgot about that section of the game. I'm not gonna lie. Completely forgot that that part existed. I just remember getting to the professor boss fight. Everything in between was a blur. Absolute blur in between. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember anything that happened in between Area Zero and the professor fight. I'm glad y'all remember that because I clearly didn't. <laughs> I forgot that part of the game existed. Remember when Dorothy literally asked me what more Entei want? Do you want more pizza or wait for the chicken? What? <laughs> what? I think I lost that. I'm not, I'm not, I think I, I, I thought I understood and then I started to lose it a little bit there. Made the walk all the way each station. I do remember that now. Yeah, it was awful. The car got cleared the path every time. Hey, let's go. Trying to think, like, based on Chappie's responses, Entei was pizza, Moltres was chicken. Isn't Moltres just a giant, like, rubber chicken, though? So is it technically eating itself? <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to think about that. <laughs> so I asked, would you like more Entei or wait for the... Oh, I get it now. Okay, I see now. Thank you for clarifying that. Now I get it. Would you care for some more Entei, sir? <laughs> That's so good. Alright, keep on peeking through at all these little dudes and dudettes. 
Oh god, wait. I, I, I thought the green would be easier to spot than this. I'm starting to panic now. I'm not gonna lie. I thought the green would be easier to spot. Like, it's not awful, but it's definitely not as easy as I thought it was gonna be earlier on. Like, earlier on, I was like, okay, I get what Murph is saying, but I can still tell. But now that I'm looking at the green on the layout and the green on and the brown on them, it's not as big of a difference as I thought it was gonna be. Like, that I can clearly be like, that's brownish black. So we don't know it's, that's not it. But still, like, every other one, I'm, I'm like, second-guessing myself now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm majorly second-guessing myself. I second-guess myself every time I look into the crowd. I hope to see her face, but I don't. And we drive to the next town. Action item. Little throwback to my, like, high school pop-punk emo days. I love it. <clears throat> I could go for some KFC Korean fried chicken. I mean, that does sound pretty good. That does sound pretty good. Also, I had Aaron try mochi because of Petron. I love mochi. Mochi's one of my favorite desserts. I love mochi so much. There was a place, um, when I visited some family friends in Buffalo, there was this, like, um, this, like, Japanese, uh, Asian-style convenience store, and they had, like, a mini, not, like, a mochi bar, but they had, like, a, like, basically, like, a mochi station, and they had all sorts of different kinds of mochi and everything, so every day I would kind of go and, like, pick out, like, a little sampler of new mochi flavors to try. Oh, God, it's so good. I'm a, I'm, I'm a huge green tea mochi and strawberry mochi enjoyer. I love them. I think they're so good. <laughs> mochi mochi. Yo, true. You kind of spitting right now. You kind of spitting. Oh, God, dude. It's so hard to tell. I, 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 I'm I honestly about to like have a panic attack. Not like actually, but like I'm actually scared because I don't think I can tell these apart anymore. I, I don't know if I can. Why did they why why can't they change like the, the 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 white part and make that green instead? Like why did they make the side of it green? And a very like a hard to notice green at that. Like why would they do that, man? The things I do for shinies, the things I do. Momo Momo Mochi. Gosh, can't wait for you to start the story. I definitely will do it. I just gotta uh, get the epilogue started. I definitely will do it, though. Because I also just really like Petra Run. Like, I think it's adorable. It's like a big peach that has anxiety. Like, a big ghost peach with anxiety, which I'm kind of here for that. Petra Run's sick. Plus, it's, like, really good. Its defense stat is so freaking good. Super good physical wall. Thing eats up hits for days. I'm like, I, I have to like go back through and like double check everything now because now I'm like second guessing myself every single time I see a Pokemon or see this Pokemon, I should say. Now I want to try Mochi. You definitely should. It's so good. Mochi is so good. I really like Mochi ice cream. Mochi ice cream is phenomenal. There's this um, place near my my house where I live right now that uh, had like a two pack of like red bean and taro mochi. It was gone by the end of the day. It was gone by the it was like six in each pack or something. They were gone by the end of the day. They did not last. I I was like I'll eat one and I was like well maybe I'll just eat two and then I blinked and all of the mochi was gone. <laughs> I like I have an addiction when it comes to mochi. I think it's so good. Like, I honestly, depending on if stores are open, nah, by the time we end stream, stores aren't going to be open. Like, I was actually considering going out and getting some mochi after stream. But nobody, nobody's going to be open by the time I'm done. Especially if Murph's right and this hunt takes us two and a half hours. <laughs> At least the Kitakami music is relaxing. That's a plus. At least that's a plus. We got that going for us, I suppose. Bow, 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 bow. 
And I remember the first time I showed my mom Carmine's little dance, she started squishing my mochi with her fingers. <laughs> the dancing mochi is a fun concept. Yeah. So is it like they become, in the DLC, is it like they become like full on like mochi zombies or like what happens? Because I've, I've only seen like a few clips here and there. I don't know like the full context. I guess I mean I probably should just play it, but still. Come on, come out wherever you are, little guys. Where are you? Where are you, little buckets of matcha powder? I know it's like 9.45 at night where I am right now. But I could go for a matcha latte. I'm just saying. That sounds actually so fire right now. It's not even funny. If I get this shiny, I will go get a matcha latte from Starbucks tomorrow, tomorrow morning in solidarity. I will do it. I will post it to my community tab. If I get it. I will get a matcha latte in solidarity with this thing if it just shows up as a shiny. That is all I ask from you, little buddy. That is all I ask. The anime makes me want a pet sprigatito. Definitely. Without a doubt. I would love a pet sprigatito. It's my child. <laughs> Johnny, you agree with that dancing mochi? Yes. They get possessed by Petra's mochi, so they all they can say is mochi mochi except mochi who's battle mania <laughs> still comes out. I mean that she's just that strong willed though, like true? She's just that strong willed that of course her battle mania still comes out, true? We stand a strong willed Nimona. I'm trying to like look at y'all very closely. I'm like getting so close to my webcam. The motor reminds me of Goku, really? Like in what way? Like in what way does she remind you of Goku? Yo, who do you guys think wins in a fight, Nimona or Goku? Because I'm just saying, I think it's close. I'm just saying, I think it's close. How to piss off every single Dragon Ball, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z fan in the universe. She just does. All right, can't argue with that logic. Mochi Mochi Match is one of the Moda's little things. So is that like what she said is like a battle quote kind of thing? Oh, like matches in like a fight, like a uh, like a battle, like a like a yeah. Okay. So she does still have her battle battle quotes and stuff. I get you. I get you. Oh, I didn't even see you there, little buddy. Did not even see you there, little buddy. Imagine you are challenged by Flame Empress Edelgard to a Pokemon battle. See, I'd be happy about that. I would forfeit. <laughs> I would absolutely forfeit. I'd be like, you know what? I'm okay. You win. You can rule my empire any day, Edelgard. Any day. No, I love Edelgard. She's easily one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters of all time. Would it be evil if I said you missed a shiny and lied? I'm not gonna lie, that'd be very evil and I'd be very upset. I would be very upset if you did that to me. Cause I would also go back and look at the footage and I don't really wanna do that. <laughs> I don't really wanna go back through and look at all the footage. I need to have Edelgard and Palpatine meet. Well, aren't you guys doing like your Fire Emblem, um, Star Wars crossover thing? Make a meet in that. Two of the greatest emperors of uh, their respective uh, mediums coming face to face. I think that'd be pretty sick. Pretty hype moment, I think. Dude, my nose is so itchy and I have no idea why. I've had Edelcard become Pal Palpatine before. <laughs> I mean, basically in like her, uh, the Black Eagle's root of uh, Three Houses, that's basically what she does. Again, Slowpoke is easier. I'm telling you, this is deceptively hard. I know, Murph. I know it is. But, like, I need it. But I need it, Murph. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. I need it. I need this. Come to me, my little child. I just want to get a matcha latte with you. 
One of the main reasons that we actually got the Fire Emblem was because of Azura. Who's Azura? Actually, don't know. Is that was that? Is that the is that the girl with the blue hair from Conquest, or am I thinking of somebody else? She straight up got his quotes and stuff for a bit too. Oh, like Edelgard did. I like that. Who won the fight, Red or Nimona? Uh, probably Nimona. I could see Nimona beating Red in a fight. Like a hand-to-hand -hand fist fight, I could see Nimona winning that fight. Dinner time for me, seeing a bit. Okay, no worries, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your meal. I was about to be like, wow, you're eating pretty late, and then I'm like, oh wait, I'm on the East Coast. She's in California, so it's like 7 o'clock there. That makes perfect sense. Time zones, man, they get ya. A Pokemon battle? Um... I don't know, probably red, because I think there's some can- is that? No, it's not. Because I think there are some canon where red technically has a Mewtwo, so I, I, I would say probably red. Because Mewtwo, Mewtwo kind of trumps anything Nimona can do, sadly. Nimona kind of gets bodied by a Mewtwo, I'm just saying. But like, most people get bodied by a Mewtwo. I feel like the only way she would be able to stop it from spamming Psychic is if she had Meowth Garad as her starter. But then I think Mewtwo just gets Aura Sphere, so like fighting coverage. Res in his God Arc, exactly, yeah. Res just super strong, man. Imagine a Convergent Giratia. <laughs> Fire type Flaritina. That sounds like a uh, like a clothing line. Or like a, not a clothing line, like a makeup brand. Flaritina. That sounds exactly like a makeup brand. Like, that would be a makeup brand in the Pokemon world. 1,000% would be. Red has three starters? Yeah, but starters aren't, like, the best Pokemon. I was just saying, like, Red has Mewtwo. That's all he needs. Like, he's, but he's got a Mewtwo. Like, full stop. That Mewtwo's like, nah, I'd win. Like, truthfully, that's just it. Nah, I'd win. <laughs> That's basically Mewtwo in a nutshell. Especially Mega Mewtwo. Mega Mewtwo's insane. Mon's busted. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall asleep watching one of your streams again. I'm sorry, I'm boring you. Ah, you! Ah, you! Ugh, excuse me. Ugh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I would laugh sort of if we just randomly got like a Starly here or something. No, it's just late. That's fair. That's fair. You have to hear our Pokemon Star Wars Fire Emblem crossover? I think Dorothy gave me a little bit of a synopsis of it. I'm pretty sure. I thought I remember her bringing it up. Um, not la Maybe it was not last stream, but the stream before that? But I thought she did bring it up to me about it. So I sort of remember some of it and some of it not so much as well. But it seems like you guys are getting pretty detailed with it, from what I remember. No, it's just like, ah, oh, I got you, I got you, you're good. I was just playing. Just a kidding. That was a Mega Charizard in that version? True, like, I mean, but like, Mega Charizard versus Mega Mewtwo, I'm gonna Mega Evolve the Mewtwo every time. Like, yeah, Mega Charizard's pretty good, but like, Mega Mewtwo is kind of insanely good. Like, Mega Charizard's broken. I mean, Mega Charizard's very good, but Mega Mewtwo is broken. Like, it's just straight up broken. You haven't seen the Rise of the AMA? It's great. I highly recommend it. Everybody I've talked to says it is. Everybody I've talked to said it's phenomenal. No, I mean, actually, here it gets wild. Yeah, Dorothy gave me, like, a little bit of a synopsis for it, and it did seem like part of it, parts of it were getting pretty crazy. Are you guys gonna like do like a voice demo for it? Because that'd be pretty sick. That'd be pretty dope if you guys did that. I'm still mad, Murph. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're still mad, Murph. It'll be alright, I promise. I'm just gonna go check this guy. I doubt he'll be our shiny. He wasn't. It was a waste of time. 
Uh, let's keep looking. Come here, little tiny pale matcha. Where you at, buddy? How much time do we have left? Six minutes. I cannot see the guy in this bush. I I I, I think it's brown. It looks brown. I'm just gonna KO it. All right. Well, it was brown. We didn't need to do that, but oh well. No! Don't, stop KOing the Pulchie Guy Skillade! Stop! I wanted you to KO the one in the bush because I couldn't see. Who would win, BDSP Cynthia or Red? Probably still Red because Red's got a freaking Mega Muto. Like, depends on the canon of Red. Like, what Red we're talking about. <clears throat> That's what it all comes down to. Depends on the canon of Red. Because depending on the can of red, red wins every time. But if it's not the one where he's got to make a Mewtwo, he probably doesn't win against Cynthia. If it's the one where he's got to make a Mewtwo, he probably beats Red. He probably beats Cynthia. Oh, Samson's playing Animal Crossing. That's cool. <coughs> I'm happy for them. <clears throat> it's all voice. Oh, that's really cool. I think that's really cool that you guys are doing like a full voice acting for it. That's pretty sick. The game's red. Yeah, but like there's multiple cans for multiple games. Like there's a can with with Mega Evolution, a can without one. Like there's Ruby and Sapphire, and then there's Oros. Because they're like in different timelines and stuff. That's more what I'm getting at. Because like... Ruby Sapphire Red cannot Mega Evolve because it doesn't exist there. But, like, um, Oros Red can. Because I'm pretty sure he even gives you the Mewtwo Knight, uh, X, the Mewtwo Knight X and the Mewtwo Knight Y in Sun and Moon. Heart Gold, Soul Silver Red? Heart Gold, Soul Silver Red, I don't think can Mega Evolve, so I would probably give the, uh, edge to Cynthia, honestly. But, like, Oros slash Sun and Moon Red? Oros Sun and Moon Red wins for sure. But he's got a Mewtwo. Like, whatever... If he's got the Mewtwo, he wins. If he doesn't, I think Cynthia wins. That's the way I see it. Because Mewtwo is just broken. Mewtwo is literally just broken. That's it. Full stop. Full stop. Mewtwo is literally the Pokemon World's personification of Nah, I'd win. Like, to a T. To a T, without a doubt. <clears throat> yeah, this thing doesn't make this hunt any easier as a slow down around here, man. I'm struggling a little bit. I guess what also would be helpful is to have two of them right next to each other, because that would make it very clearly easy to see, like, one is a different color than the other. Aaron's right, it's truly amazing. Dorothy's such an amazing script writer. The way she wrote it, oh my god, it's so amazing. Yeah, she was telling me about it before. It seems really cool. If you guys do the voice acting for it, let me know. I'd love to hear how it turned out. I know you said you started it, but I don't know if it's done done or not. But yeah, I'd love to hear about it. It sounds sick. It sounds super sick. Is that Poltergeist on the hunting for shiny or what? I don't know what you mean by that. I'm sorry. Come on, little fella, where are you? And you will continue to struggle for hours? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna inhale all the copium. We're good. I will inhale all of the copium. In Ultimate Universe, shiny Pokemon are the norm where the rare ones are the regular forms. I think somebody said that before as well. I could see somebody doing that. I could definitely see somebody doing that. There's time. Two minutes left. Aww. Rip. Oh, now there's a phantom here. Go away. Go away. You're not what I'm looking for. Ah! I didn't mean to whistle. 
You're on Instagram, right? Maybe we can just DM parts for two. Yeah, that's good with me. I'm fine with that. That is good with me. Where are these poultry guys? Where are they? Why is there none spawning now when I still have two minutes left? Well, now it's a minute and a half, but still. Now it's just freaking phantom spawning, man. Why are there no poultry guys? Do poultry guys only saw summon like spawn during the day or something? Like, what's happening here? The current hunt thing, is it shiny because my eyes cannot see it? Yes, that is shiny. We didn't voice act ourselves, we used 11 laps. Dude. Oh, okay. Although that would actually be pretty cool if we did do one script by our own voices. Yeah, that'd be sick. I think that'd be super cool if you guys did that. Wrong grass ghost type. No kidding. Like, what are all these phantom doing here, man? Why are there so many phantom? And where'd all the poultry guys go? Well, I guess I'll try and do a picnic reset because there's literally none here. It also requires time and dedications. <laughs> I mean, you are wrong. It does. It would be like a big effort. It would be a lot of a uh, lot of voice lines to read out. Does Poltergeist not spawn during the evening or something? <laughs> Because I'm not seeing any anymore. Alright, well, I'm just going to reset this because it's not showing up. And while this loads, I'm going to go change my hat because it's very warm in this beanie. So I'm going to be right back. That's better. Although I have to admit, I'm not that great of a voice actress. I mean, that's fair. I don't think I am either, but still just be fun to do with like some friends. I think that'd be pretty cool if you guys did it. Even if you aren't like pro voice actors or anything, it'd still just be cool to do it. All right, let's make this sandwich again. I guess I should probably peek at these, I suppose. No, not you, keep forgetting. Let's just probably peek at these before we make the sandwich, then. Just a quick little peek skis. Just a quick little peek skis. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, you little matcha pails. I want to. I want to forget Tito right now. Um, you could just get a cat. <laughs> you could just get a cat, I suppose. That is one option. I'm trying to like take a peek at all these fools before I make the sandwich. Alright, it doesn't look like it. Let's just go ahead and do the sandwich. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw this guy now. Well, he wasn't shiny. Oh well. Anybody? Anybody? No. Okay. I love my cousin has my Pokemon Go, and the names I came up with are even more ridiculous. <laughs> what did they come up with? I'm going to go to PetSmart to buy a cat. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's basically how I got my cat. I was just looking at an ASPCA, and I saw a picture of her, and I was like, I'm in love. I'll take her, please. And I went and I, I called my mom because my mom lived near the shelter. And I was like, hey, can you go pick up this cat for me? <laughs> and she did. She did. My mom and my brother went and picked up my new cat. This is when I was in college. So I was coming home for the summer. And I was like, yeah, I, I would like to take this cat, please. That's exactly how it happened. I think like the next day I was like, yeah, can you go pick her up for me, please? And six years later, here we are. Dope. 
Alright. Attempt number two of this. Let's give it a go. Attempt number two of the Sinistra hunt. Let's see if we can get it this time. Or, yeah, Sinistra. No, Poltergeist. I can never remember what's what. I'm not gonna lie. I can never remember the name. I know one Sinistra and one's Poltergeist, but I can't remember which is which usually. I'm pretty sure this one's Poltergeist. And then Sinistra is the evolve, the evolve form, because it's reversed for how it normally is. Sparkling title encounter. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. Let's give it our best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Pogo the Mudkip. See, that's kind of cute. It makes me think of like a pogo stick. Anita the Ponyta. A Duosian named Mid. And Yama named Ariana. Named after Ariana Grande, probably. Those are some pretty, like, I wouldn't even say they're ridiculous. I would just say they're kind of like out there. Like, why? <laughs> Like, why name this this? Like, that kind of thing. Hmm. Let's take a peek through here. Make sure I check on all of you fools. Hmm. Not as ridiculous as the guy named their Arceus Tatiana. <laughs> what? Why did somebody name their Arceus Tatiana? Like, what possessed them to even come up with that? I mean, bump into you, buddy. Did not mean to bump into you, bud. Did not mean to bump into you there, little buddy. Little buddy. No, can you stop, bro? Can you, like, chill out, man? I'm not here to, like, do this at the moment. I'm just trying to find a little green guy. If you, hey, you know if you see him, can you tell him I'm looking for him? He's about your size, but green. Please and thank you. I will buy you a matcha latte. Hey, you know all the words to me with your best shot? Now, well, don't make me sing that is all I have to say. And I love the song, but I don't know if I'd sing it. Yeah, I get you. I know, like, I only know the, like, hit me with your best shot, like, the, that little hook part of the chorus, and then, like, the, come on with the, come on, da, 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 like, that part, that's about it. Why are there more phantoms spawning? Go away! You are not what I want, man. Okay, do Poltergeist only spawn during the day or something? I, like, need to know the answer. I'm look I'm looking it up right now. I'm looking it up right now. <clears throat> it doesn't say. So why are there only phantom that appear? Poultry guys, Pokemon. Only spawn. Does Poultry Guys only spawn at night? Finding the Pokemon Scarlet Mile Poultry Investigation is a bit more complicated than it sounds. Poultry Guys is another ghost and grass type, Sinistee, but in Macho form. Basically, in like other ghost types, it only comes out at night. Then why is it disappearing? It's nighttime! Why is it disappearing then? I don't understand! I don't understand. I don't understand, man. I sang the same thing at the same time. Nice. Dorothy's Uxi is named LA. Oh, right. She told me that because it's like Uxi LA, like UCLA. I got it. I remember. Dusk? Maybe? I don't know, man. Like, I don't, I don't know. Should we just let time pass and see if they come back at night? Or like, what should we do? Because, like, we've only been looking for three minutes. You're back. Welcome back, Dorothy. 
I spent so long trying to get my Arceus team to totally recover because I had to transfer it from my shiny. Because I transferred from my shiny Quagsire. I didn't... You had to remember. I thought it would just... I'm I'm confused what you mean. I'm sorry. Try to wait out the dust. Three minutes. Okay. Also, I know how to set it today. How do I set it today? Because the day seemed like it was working. How do I set it today? The day seemed like it was working just fine. But it requires you to reset. I mean, I can make the sandwich again. It's fine. Had quite a spicy dinner there. Really glad I'm beginning to tolerate spicy now. Hey, let's go. Good stuff. What did you end up having? Because recover is an egg move? Arceus doesn't get any egg moves. What do you mean? Arceus is a legendary, so it doesn't get egg moves. Oh, can you, can you do that? Like, you can give Arceus a mirror herb and do recover from that? I didn't know that would work with legendaries. That's actually pretty cool. I used the mirror herb to get it on Arceus. I don't know if that works. I don't think Arceus... I don't believe that works. I, I don't know. I have no idea, man. Dorothy has indeed returned. How goes Sinistra Hunt? Uh, no luck quite yet. We're trying to wait out the... Uh, the uh, the dusk and to get the uh, nighttime. It just worked. Well, I don't know how it worked. Because Arceus doesn't have egg moves. Like, it it can't breathe, so it can't have egg moves. Okay, they're spawning again. It's fine. We're good. At least one has so far, so I guess there's that. Oh, no, there's more. There's more. We're chilling. We're good. False alarm. But now it's going to make it more difficult to see the green, I think. I think it's going to make it more difficult to see the green on the side of its body. So we'll see how this goes. Can you stop running into me, little dude? Buddy. I'm not here for you. I'm here for your little green friend. Please tell him I'm looking for him. You have to transfer the move from a Pokemon that has the move? Yeah, I know that. But, like, Arceus doesn't... If you're trying to give recover to Arceus, Arceus doesn't have egg moves. So, like, it wouldn't be able to get recover as an egg move because they don't exist for it. If you're trying to give recover to Quagsire, that would make more sense. But Arceus doesn't have egg moves, so I don't think that would work that way. I don't know, man. I don't know how the new mechanics in the game work with stuff like that. I haven't done any really uh, egg move breeding and stuff. The only breeding I've done was for um, like Masuda Method Shinies, so I, I have no idea how the new breeding methods and stuff worked. Welp, it did. I don't know what to tell you, Chief. I'm just telling you that Arceus doesn't have egg moves. Like, it doesn't. It's a legendary Pokemon. Legendary Pokemon can't breed, therefore they don't have egg moves. It's that simple. But I, I don't know how it worked. But I guess it did. Ready to participate in the activity? What activity are you thinking? What's the idea? I'm all ears. What's the plan for the activity? Oh, I see a big group of them over here, actually. Hold on. Let's get nice and close to them. Oh, God. I cannot tell, man. I can't tell because of the nighttime. This is actually awful. I have to get them, like, right in this corner to be able to tell. Arceus learns as a TM? Yeah, but, like, I thought Mirror worked with egg moves, doesn't it? Or does it work with TMs as well? Like, I feel like that setup takes longer. I feel like doing the mirror herb strap would take longer than just giving it recover as a TM, you know? Like, you know what I mean? I want to take a shower, but the only way it works in my house is that while I'm showering, Aaron, Aaron Gianna, and I play music on each other's echo devices. Wait, that's actually so funny. <laughs> No, it's just with egg moves? Then I am so confused. Recover in this game isn't the TM now? Is it not? I don't know. 
I'm looking. Recover, TM, Scarlet, Violet. Uh, no, it's not a TM, but I don't... But if, Ar if Arceus can't breed, how does it have egg moves? Like, that's what I'm saying. That doesn't make any sense. Like, that's what I'm saying. If a Pokemon doesn't... If a Pokemon can't breed, how could it have an egg move? That's what I'm confused on. Did you get the shiny? Not yet, but you got a cat? Hey, let's go. Congrats on the new cat. That was a fast trip to PetSmart. It's basically playing music back and forth to each other. Maybe Aaron and Gianna can help you participate. Okay, I'm interested. That sounds kind of fun. Pokemon knowledge, buddy. <laughs> Arceus doesn't have egg moves. I'll tell you that straight up. That's Pokemon knowledge. Like, I don't know how it worked, but it somehow did. But Arceus does not have egg moves. I'll put a print screen on screen if we really want to. But Arceus does not have egg moves. It's a legendary Pokemon, so it can't. Arceus has no egg moves. Exactly. I know I'm right. <laughs> I know I'm right. Recover is an egg move for Quagsire, maybe, but not for Arceus, because it doesn't have any freaking egg moves, kid. It does not have egg moves. Arceus is a legendary Pokemon that cannot breed, is in the undiscovered egg group. Therefore, it cannot have egg moves. If you did it with Quagsire, maybe. Definitely didn't just grab my cat that I already have. Definitely not. Definitely not. Without a doubt, for sure, definitely not. Arceus learns recover by level up. Oh, then, like... What? I... Dude, like, if you did do it this way, it would have been easier just to give your Pokemon some EXP candies. <laughs> like, first of all, I'm 99% sure you can't. Second of all, like... You could have just done this a way easier way, buddy. Pokemon Glam, yo. Let the music fight begin. All right, I'm interested. So, how do you guys like normally do this? Like, what do you guys normally do for this? Like, how do you like determine what songs to play and stuff? Hey, Crooked Tat. What are you up to, little buddy? Poultry guys, poultry guys. I'm just resorted to saying Pokemon names at this point. Because, like, <laughs> I'm about to lose my mind looking for this little guy. Just give us music suggestions? Um... Hmm. I would say do... Um... Do... All I Want by A Day to Remember. Arceus doesn't learn by level up? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> It does learn it by level up. I can promise you that much. I can promise you it learns it by level up. It literally learns it at level 70. It literally learns it at level 70, dude. Never gonna give you up. Funny choice, funny choice. Like, I literally have it pulled up right here. I'll put it out even on screen. It's right there. Recover. Level 70. All right, let me just search real quick. Egg. Egg. Moves by breeding. This Pokemon learns no moves by breeding. 
Who would have thought? I knew I was right. It's a legendary. It can't learn egg moves. Unless you had an empty move slot, had Arceus so close level something that it would level up with 30 XP, did a picnic, then they got the XP, then they would you wouldn't learn recover. Yeah, that would do it. But then you could just relearn it. But then you could just relearn it. Like that's what I'm saying. You could just relearn it because all Pokemon can relearn moves that they would have known if you miss learning it because of a uh, auto battle or a picnic. So you could have just relearned it that way. I had mine when it was level 87, but you could just click. You could literally could have just click relearn moves, buddy, and you would have been able to relearn it because it learns at level 70. So I think if you did end up do making this work somehow, congratulations. But it would have taken you way less time to hit the A button three times from the summary screen in the main menu. So it didn't show up. I don't know what to tell you, Chief. It literally learns it. Any more suggestions? Um. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, um, hmm, what's that down there? Oh, it's a cricket attack. Let's go for running with the wild things by against the current, and then for my next one after that, let's go Novocaine by the Van Camino. Hopes and Dreams, that's the best song in the game right there. That's the best song in the game right there. That song slaps, dude. I love Hopes and Dreams. The build up at the beginning is so good. The bump, 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 bump. It's so good. I love Hopes and Dreams. After I played Undertale, I had that on repeat. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't love Undertale or anything. I think it's a good game, not an amazing game. But. I had hopes and dreams on repeat. That song slaps. It's gonna be stuck in my head now, actually. The me theme, oh my god. I have a brand new song suggestion. I have a brand new song called Kai. You should give up on the dreams of hunting a shiny Poltegeist and hunt the far superior shiny Sylveon. But I want it! But I want it! I honestly feel like it might even be easier to just do um, Masuda Method Hunting for this thing. <laughs> like, honestly, I really do. I really do think so. But I am stubborn to a fault, so I will keep trying it. I am stubborn to a fault, so I will keep doing it. So I gotta keep getting it. I have one, I'm happy for you. I don't know, that's why I'm trying to get one. Promise you that you will not get this within the next hour and a half. Challenge accepted! That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. I just need to be doubted. I just need to be doubted, that's how I prosper most. If you get this in one hour, I will mail you a turtle. I don't want a turtle, but thank you for offering. No. We just went from Metallica to Fan of the Opera. I mean, that's like a solid uh, solid range right there. I like that. It's a very solid range. The Phantom of the Opera. I, I haven't listened to like that soundtrack in a while. I need to look that up. I mean, Hunt Sylveon. I will! I just want the Sinistra, man! I'm gonna do it! I just want to get this little Matcha Pail! That's all I'm asking, man. I just want to get the little matcha guy. I like it. Really? That's a slope game? Okay. My shiny dust form Lycanroc was easy to get for me. Yeah, they're not that difficult. They're not difficult. 
be fair, I had to change the time, but it was still easy to get. Yeah, like I said, they're not that difficult. Any more suggestions? Um, not off the top of my head. I'm trying to think of another song. Uh, Mimi's Delivery Service by Good Kid. That's a song I listen to on repeat lately. Prob got in six resets, not bad. Ruler of Everything by Tally Hall, good shout. It's an amazing song that will freak everyone out. I've heard, uh, I've heard of Tally Hall before. One of my students is a Tally Hall fan. Five Nights at Freddy's. Does Five Nights at Freddy's even have music? Like, actually? Because I played through the first three games, and the only song I remember was the song where you're about to die, where it's like the boom, 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 that one. Like, does Five Nights at Freddy's actually have other music? I honestly don't know. Fear of Tally All from Me Too? Oh, probably. Probably. Would not be surprised. Giga Chad theme? What's the Giga Chad theme? Oh! I thought that was a scissor. I was about to be like, oh, that's neat. But it wasn't. It was a cricket tot and a cricket tune. And now I feel embarrassed. They're my favorite band and ruler of my favorite song. Hey, nice. Uh, excuse me. Come here, you little matcha pails. Uncle Kai is going to catch a green one of you. If it's the last thing he does in this video game, and it might be. So mad at Pokemon because Sarah Ledge having a very bad shiny, it had so much potential. It really did. Both Armor Rouge and Sarah Ledge did, and then they whiffed on it so bad. It sh both of their shinies are awful. I'll say it. They're, they're both terrible. Actually awful shinies. Like, the blue eyes are neat and all, but like, nah. Watch people listen to Rule for the first time. It's so funny. It's a very strange song. I'll take your word for it. I will take your word for it. Blue and pink, shiny Sarah Ledge? Why blue and pink? Like, where'd the pink come from? I was thinking like, um, like a gray. Like a gray scale would be really cool with like a blue eye. I think that would look sick. Like, instead of it being like bluish purple, make it like all gray. And then go light blue eye. I think that would look so sweet. Does it match with the Pokemon? I mean, not really, but at the same time, like, that's never stopped them before. Like, Shiny Mega Garchomp is like lavender and pink. It's never stopped them before. <laughs> the worst Pokemon game names, Pokemon Up and Pokemon Down. Yeah. At that point, I think I would officially agree with a lot of people who say that this game has run, this franchise has run out of ideas. Uh, because, yeah, if they named a Pokemon game Pokemon Up and Pokemon Down, I'd probably just give up at that point. I'd probably just give up at that point, I'm not gonna lie. That'd be my official time to retire my, uh, my contributions to this franchise. Because I would not be interested in playing a game named Up and Down. I'm sorry. Maybe that's just me, though. Maybe, I'm sure some people would still buy them. I'm sure some people would still buy them. I'm not going to lie. I'm like 99% sure people would still buy them. Because Game Freak knows they can get away with stuff like that. I was really excited for Paper White and Charcoal Black. I mean, black and white remakes will be coming eventually. Don't don't count it out just yet. They they could name it something stupid like that. I swear on everything. If they name the Pokemon black and white remakes for my favorite generation, charcoal white, charcoal black, and paper white, I will have a fit. I will actually have a fit. Do you watch Loxton? A little bit. A little bit. I'm subbed him. I know that much. I know he was making a, uh, like a Pokemon region. Like, based off of, um, where he lives in the Northwest. I remember seeing a lot of those videos and being like, this is so sick! I need this in my life! 
I, think, I remember him saying he was going to try and make it a reality, but I don't know what progress he's kind of made on that. Cascade region, that's it. Yes, I did see that. I was so into that when he was doing that series. It looks so sick. I loved all the Pokemon he made. They all came out so good. All the artists that he can, um, um, commissioned did such a good job on it. It looks so good. Can't wait to flex with my shiny Arceus and Pokemon Violet. Nice. I don't really like shiny Arceus. I think it's kind of lame. I don't like the yellow on it. I think I said this last stream as well. I think the yellow is kind of ugly. Like, they could have done something cooler for it. Made Pokemon Shears and Pokemon Cliffers and Evil Team was Team Fist. Rock beat scissors. Oh my god. Are you shiny little buddy? No, you ain't. Toe Frog and Lampas are my team. Heck yeah. I think I almost bought the Toe Frog plush when he was selling it. I almost bought it. I ended up not doing it, but I almost did it. That's the end of that story, I suppose. There's so many good ones. I like that the evil the evil team was just Amazon. Like that was so funny to me. That got a good chuckle out of me. Always tells me I should wonder I try to wonder trade people flex with their shiny legendary and mythic, and then in the trade that's supposed to that's happened to me where 15 times in a row. Yep. I've seen people do that before too. It's so dumb. Shiny Arcus should have been Rainbow. Rainbow would have been pretty cool. Making the shiny black would have been hundred times better. Black would have been cool too. I think either one of those would have been sick. I think Rainbow would have been dope because it like it's every type, or it's um, like reminiscent of every type. I think that would have been pretty sick. But Black would have been cool too. I meant End Maze All. I knew it. you're good. I had a feeling that's what you meant. And yeah, Maze All. I remember. I love that he made the bad guys at Amazon. That's so sick. Jeff Bezos is the true villain. True! I mean, he was, like, he, he had, like, a... I'm pretty sure that's what he made the final big bad based off of was Jeff Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos! Jeffrey Bezos! Dude, they all look black. I cannot tell this apart, man. I cannot tell these little matcha pails apart. I could have seen the shiny and would have no idea, I'm not gonna lie. I could have seen the shiny and would have had no clue. Like a soft pastel rainbow? Yeah, I could see it. I think it looked good. If it was, I would have named it Shadow Arceus. Yo, true. Like a spooky play with it to with it would go hard with the black. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. It would be pretty dope. How much time do we have left? Five minutes. Not a lot of time left. I'm starting to get more discouraged. I'm not gonna lie. I think I have a pretty strong mental, and at the moment that mental is being tested <laughs> by a literal a literal matcha pail at the moment. Who wins in a mental fight? A matcha pail or one sad streamer? I think the answer right now is the matcha pail. I told you, but Murph, I'm stubborn. I need this. This is, this is my, I love this thing. It's adorable. I need to get it. It's a Pokemon I want super bad. She's dangerous, super bad. Do my Pokemon only love hidden names when some of the Pokemon names are literal words? I mean, so the way I've interpreted it was like, humans heard what Pokemon sounded like and then in gave them names based on what they sounded like. That's the way I've interpreted it. So like somebody heard Pikachu be like, Pikachu! And they were like, oh cool, we'll call you Pikachu. Like something like that. 
so the man-made words came afterwards. Like, something like that. That's the way I always interpreted it, because I feel like that made the most sense in my brain. No, I didn't mean to bump into you. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. They have RC's different strategy forms for each play. Now, that would be sick. That would be pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. That would be pretty cool. I'd probably take a lot more coding, but it'd be very cool if they did it. It would be very cool if they did something like that, but I don't think they would. If his fire type would be red and if he was water, he'd be blue. That would be sick, because that's what they do with his back, like the things on his back already. But like, make it his whole body that, and I think that'd be so sick. I think that would unironically be like phenomenal. I wish they would have done that, I'm not gonna lie. Can we all can agree that Yokai Watch is the real Pokemon, but I used to love that game as a kid. I've never played Yokai Watch, so I don't know much about it, I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've never played it myself. I always meant to, because it seemed very Pokemon esque, but I don't know, I didn't I didn't really didn't really vibe with it very much, I'm not gonna lie. I want to check it out though. Maybe one day I'll go back and play it on my 3DS or something. Where did the game, where did the music go for a second? What was that? It just literally went out. Like I have no other explanation besides it just went out for a second. It was just gone. What's up little guys? Anyone of you want to be green? No? Are you sure? Oh my kid, I can't even tell. <laughs> Which time we got? A minute and a half. All right, I'm gonna do one last picnic reset and then we'll go from there. Oh wait, hold on. Nope. And regular shiny Irish just can be reminiscent of, reminiscent of its bay design. What was its bay design again? Wasn't it something like really stupid looking? <laughs> I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere and it looked really dumb. All right, last picnic reset. Here we go. Wahoo! Wahoo! Let's get this shiny matcha pail, guys. Yeah! Woo! Said the streamer, slowly losing his mind. Are you guys different colors? No. You are not. You are very much not. You are very much not the shiny I am looking for. See, I feel like whenever I get, like, anxious or frustrated or something like that, I feel like I start talking in accents. And this is definitely one of those times. Have to go? No worries. Have a good rest of your night, Fritzy boy. I know you said it was pretty late by you, so... Hope you have a good one. Take care. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Could I sneak in one more picnic? Maybe? If we try really quickly. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance we can sneak one reset in to get a couple to spawn. If we have four seconds. Can some spawn in four seconds? Come on, spawn. You know you want to. Okay, I see a couple. We'll check them. Okay, well, none of these guys are. What about you guys over here? Anybody? Any shiny spawners? It's not seeming like it. Pretty sure I checked all of you guys already. It would be insane if one of those was shiny, man, I wish. I wish. But it does not seem like they are. I 
Does not seem like we got it. Let me go check the ones that were further up here, because there were some that did spawn up here before. Let's see if they'll spawn again. Or if it was just because we had the ghost type sandwich. Um, I'm not seeing it. Alright, that's going to be a reset. I'll give it one more attempt. I'll give it one more attempt on that. Hey, welcome back, Dorothy. Welcome back. I'll give it one more attempt. And then we'll call it. I'll give it one more try on this thing. Three and a half hours ago you started streaming. I know. I got the timer right here on my OBS. I can tell. Three hours and 42 minutes and 18 seconds to be exact. To be exact. All right. We'll give this poultry guys hunt one more attempt. And then we'll probably uh, go from there. Call the stream? No. I'm going to go a little bit longer. Because I want to try this poultry guest hunt. This uh, poultry guys hunt one more time. Maybe we'll do something else after that too. We'll see. No promises, but we'll see. I'm going to check these guys real quick. Make another shiny sandwich, and then we'll go from there. Bow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I like having you around, kind, so do RNG. Hey, appreciate that. I'm glad you guys like coming to hang out the streams with me. Appreciate that immensely. I'm calling it, you get it right now. I hope you're right, but I'm not seeing it at the moment. So far, it's not looking like we're getting it right now. But then again, we haven't even made the sandwich yet, so... The odds of getting it right now are pretty unlikely. Not impossible, just unlikely. Come out to play, little buddy. Where are you? Oh my god, their cries are terrifying. It sounds like they're shooting like a laser beam. Like the pew, 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 pew. It's not many hunts I've given up on completely. This is one of them. Never give up, never surrender! I refuse to give up. My mental won't let me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, almost just bumped right into you, little buddy. Excuse me, didn't see you there. I'm going to give it another go. <laughs> what kind of streamer would I be if I just gave up? Come on, man. Come on. What do y'all take me for? I ain't just going to give up that easy. Don't give up. That's always the motto. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You used to have a shirt with a shiny Kyogre that said never give up, never surrender. I know that shirt. I remember seeing it sold before. I remember seeing that one. We'll go sweet bitter, why not? Or should I say bittersweet? <laughs> like Tiesto says? Who's Tiesto? Actually, I'm not sure who that is. A time efficient one? A time efficient what? Like shirt? Is there a way to get stellar type shards without the DLC? I don't believe so, Brandon. I don't think so. Oh, is this a regular onion I just picked? I'm pretty sure I picked regular onion and not red onion. Whoops. Whoops. I'm pretty sure this is regular onion and not red onion, so I might have just thrown a little bit. Let's see. Did Kai throw? Tiesto is a DJ. Oh, okay. I think it was Jubilee. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it was. That's a bummer? Yeah, a little bit. You said what time of stream would I be if I gave up and I said time efficient one? I get it now. I get it now. Alright, what sandwich is this going to be? Alright, so Kai threw, so that's going to be a reset. <laughs> I clicked the wrong regular onion instead of red onion, dude. Oh, God, that's so upsetting. Oh, maybe that is. Maybe that's a sign there. Maybe that's a sign, guys. I'm just being real. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign, man. Unless, of course, someone tra surprise traded you 50 Pokemon with Stellar Shards on them. Can Pokemon hold Stellar Shards? Can they? 
That is a sign. It would be, but I'm stubborn. <laughs> it would be, but I'm stubborn. So I'm going to keep going. If I do it again, then that is a sign it's time to go to bed. That's the way I see it. I'm not a religious woman, but I <laughs> come on for you to stop this. I'm sorry I'm taking you to this point, Murph. <laughs> Apologies. Just relax, take a deep breath. Like, bubbling is right behind you. <sighs> Alright, we're good. It's all good. It's fine. We'll make it work in the end. It's bright out again. So that's good. We'll be able to see the shines a little bit easier. Looking on the bright side, guys. Looking on the bright side. It's lighter out. It's able to see... Where it's easier to see the green versus the black now. We're chilling. I honestly thought that was it, and I about screamed for a second. I would have just woken up the entire neighborhood. Alright, I don't believe any of you guys are shiny. I'm just gonna do another double check. No, it doesn't seem like it. All I see is a bunch of black backs on you guys. None of you are green. So I think we're good to do a reset. Alright, let's make our sandwich this time and actually click the correct onion this time. Let's click the correct onion this time, please. Alrighty. Red onion, not regular onion. Red onion. Alright, let's do it. Okay, red onion, not four. A pickle, a cucumber. Not tomato, cucumber. Take your time, Kai. And then now we want to go bittersweet. Okay. That looks better. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I did. I did see the red onion. Thank you, plushy man. I did. We're good. It even says red onion. We're chilling. When the hardest part of the run is making sure you click the correct onion. That's honestly it, man. Look at these perfect onion stacks. That's actually gorgeous. Actually gorgeous. My wrist hurts so much. Oh, I'm sorry, Murph. Hope your wrist feels better. Drop the bread off over here. And finish it off with a pick. Hooray! We did it! All right. Let's do this. I am optimistic. I am optimistic. I have a strong mental. This hunt will not defeat me. This hunt cannot and will not defeat me. I've got this. I believe in the heart of the cards, Yugi boy. Well, that was more the pharaoh than his pegasus says yugi boy oh i believe in the heart of the cards yugi boy that's more pegasus i just sneeze i just sneeze i just sneeze where'd it go oh god dude my allergies are so bad oh it's my freaking cat Oh, there we go. That felt better. I literally play second drums in our band trip in a week, and this is not good. I remember you saying that. I think for now, just keep icing it and give it time to heal. It's honestly all you probably can do. I think that's a good idea. Keep icing it, let it heal, all that. Might love having Clara, she doesn't shed. Oh, my cat sheds so much, it's so annoying. Especially because now that it's warming up, so her winter coat is kind of shedding a bit. It definitely, like, gets to my allergies. Like, that sneeze was so rough, I feel it in my, like, arms right now. I just sneeze with the full force of my body. I don't know if that's ever happened before. My arms hurt after a sneeze. <laughs> oh, God, man. That's actually kind of funny. 
The world's most powerful sneeze. Somebody call Guinness. I want to be in a world record book. <clears throat> Alright, I didn't see one. So I think I'll just do a reset. Guess I have a reason not to do my six missing. Murph, do your homework! I mean, sneeze are supposed to accelerate particles at 100 miles an hour. True! Like, they have a lot of force applied onto them. You aren't wrong. question are these guys ghost type or have i just been making like the wrong sandwich this entire time somebody let me know let me, please tell me these guys are ghost type i'm not insane i'm like 99.9 percent .9 sure they're ghost types but that other one percent or 0.1 percent is terrifying me right now and i just have to ask like these guys are ghost type right they're grass ghost I once heard one of my friends had sneezed so hard that she threw it her back. Oh my god. I take it back. Maybe they have the record for the world's most powerful sneeze. That's insane. Just a random pedal all over here too. Let me check you first. Okay, cool. Twas not. <clears throat> I wonder, like, if it would be better just to KO them and then reset from there. That Sinisty was Ghost 2. I'm pretty sure it is, because Sinisty definitely is Ghost. I know that for sure. I just can't remember if this guy is pure grass starting out and then becomes grass ghost when it evolves, or if it's just grass ghost starting out but i thought it was just grass ghost starting out i was pretty sure that was the case hold up you looked weird from far away i swear i saw somebody green hold on i have to look at these guys really closely for a second Because I swear I thought I saw a green one. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. Dang it, I thought I saw a green one, man! Now my eyes are playing tricks on me. I was so sure for a second there I saw a green one. Dang it, dude. But I checked all of them, so I don't think I did. It's crazy that we haven't even, like, thought we've seen one outside of that one time. Like, normally we get our shinies pretty quick, but, like, these guys are taking forever. Like, three sh three sandwiches worth. We can KO them as it is and reset. Yeah. I know. It's just, like, I feel like the, the amount of encounters we would see versus one way or the other would be higher doing this, if that makes sense. Because I feel like the overall amount of encounters we would run into would be a little bit higher doing like the picnic resets versus just KOing a bunch of them and then going back and forth. But if I'm wrong about that and somebody can tell me why I'm wrong about that, please tell me and I will gladly do the opposite. <laughs> but this was the way I, I thought was the most convenient way to shiny hunt. Maybe not these little guys in particular, but you know. That's what I'm used to, so. God, I just want this little guy. He's so cute. I love him. Just please sparkle for me, buddy. I just really want one of these guys. They're so freaking adorable. Like, why can't you just be green, buddy? Like, do me a solid. Turn green. Right before my eyes. Do it. You won't. Am 
When I told you that someone's hell, I was not joking in any matter of the word. I know you weren't, but like, I didn't think it'd be like this annoying. <laughs> I, I hate green shinies. Turn green. Oh, that's it! 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 Right? That was it. That's it. That's it. One hundred percent. That's it. Right? Please, 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 please. Let's go! Yes! I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! Oh my god! Yes! Finally! Oh my god! Let's go, dude! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. All right, level 58. It has Memento, but we saved. So that's fine. And then it has Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, Rage Power. Rage Powder. First thing, Taunt. No Memento. Oh my god, yes, dude. Let's freaking go. I know I said I don't like green shines, but this one makes it work because it's literally matcha. It's literally matcha. It makes too much sense. That's going to be a hell of a clip. Did you save? 99% sure I did save. I will double check right now, and if I didn't, I will run away. I'm 99% sure I did save. I did save. I did save, so we're good. But yeah, I, I normally am not a big fan of green shinies, but this one's matcha, so it makes sense. All right, I'm getting a matcha latte tomorrow morning. That's the plan now. Once Dorothy Lucario's had us fooled out, there was a shiny Pokemon. How did that happen? That is going to be one hell of a clip. My god, yeah, I did say thank you for double checking to Dorothy. Um, okay. Um, so Pokeballs. Uh, what is, what does the uh, evolution look like? Shiny Sinistra. Oh, so it's just green. So it's just green. Uh, so then green Pokeball would either be Nest Ball or I don't have any Dust Ball, so Nest Ball, right? I mean, it looks like it looks like it, it looks like it, it should be the case. How can you tell if it's regular or antique? By the way, um, I think you have to check the bottom of it, right? Quick capture. Let's go, dude. We got the shiny Pulcha, guys. The stubbornness pulled off. Yes. Let's go. Oh, my God. I finally got it. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, it tells you. It's a counterfeit form. Oh, well. Imagine if that was antique on the first try. Can you imagine that luck? That would be insane. Supposedly, the regrets of a tea ceremony master who died before perfecting his craft lingered in some matcha and became a Pokemon. My king, let's go. Um, I'm gonna name you. Hmm. Yeah, I think I guess it tells you on that, and also I think it, you can like check the bottom of it. Oh, it can't be from an outright. You, I remember you guys said that before. Um, I think let's name you. I'm just gonna name you Tea Latte. I'm just gonna name you Tea Latte. Let's go, dude. We got the shiny Pulcha guys, baby. Shiny Pulcha guys is real. It is real, guys. All right, we have 20 minutes left on a ghost sandwich. What do we want to hunt? I'm so sad. I can't make him Arceus Stellar type. I'm sorry. That is frustrating. But I mean, like, Stellar type's not that good on it anyway. Like, honestly, Stellar type in general isn't very good. Fluttermane? I do have a shiny Fluttermane. Otherwise, that would be a good shout. I did get one through the um, the the cheat method. <laughs> What's another ghost type? O otherwise, Fluttermane would be a good shout. Otherwise, Fluttermane would be a very good shout. Uh, I'm going to look up the Paul Dadex and find a ghost type. It's really good because it affects every type of... What? I'm pretty sure a stellar type is kind of garbage. Like, it, it's actually, like, not good. Like, it's actually not good at all. Rotom, possibly. I do have a shiny Rotom as well. Two times damage for normal. Like, yeah, but only one time. It's not two times. It's 1.5 times, I believe. Unless it's, it is double. I don't know. Stellar typing Pokemon. But, yeah, it's only one time. So, like, you can use the, any one normal type move and then it's done. 
My Pokemon Terrestrial Titans it gains attack boost for every every move type, but only once per type. So two times, yeah. So if you're normal type, it's it's double once, and that's it. Yeah, Stellar type is really bad. It's really bad unless you're a contrary Pokemon. It's really good if you have something with like um, contrary, like a Malamar or like a Lorantis, but outside of that, it is not good. Frostlass I do have as well. Would the sandwich work on Spiritomb? I don't know if it would. But if it does, I would go for that. Um, Mimic Q I already have. If, if the sandwich works on Spiritomb, I am all for going for Spiritomb. Does anybody know if the sandwich works on Spiritomb or not? Does anybody know the answer? Because I could just go sit Spiritomb soft resets, so no. Well, could I just picnic reset for a singular spirit tomb each time? Like, could I do that? Is that something that's a possibility? Or nah? Because I'm fine with doing that. I don't care. It's one encounter, but like, who cares? Well, we can do it. Oh, it, you can't do that? Come on. You have to fully soft reset? That's so stupid. I can't even picnic reset for it? That's so dumb, man. That's so dumb, dude. I hate that. I mean, I guess I could ghastly. I guess I could ghastly. Um. Pretty sure Mischievous is a Violet exclusive, so I can't get that. Oricorio? I, I guess. Like, that's an idea. Like, that's something, I suppose. We could do Oricorio. Otherwise, there's like Drifloon and Drifblim. Um, I already have Annihilate. I'm trying to find other ghost types. Um, I have a Grievered and a Houndstone. Breloom's not a ghost type, so that won't work. Um, I could do Sinistee. I could do Sinistee and Bolty, guys. If I really want to torture myself. Uh, maybe Q I already have. I could do Bramblin' Bramblegast. We could do Bramblin' Bramblegast. What do we think about that? I don't have one of them yet. What do we think about that idea? See or no? I've been going to do Bramblin' Bramblegast. What do you guys think? It's a hard shine to see. Really? I don't think it is. I don't think it's that bad. I think there are definitely way harder ones to see than Bramblin and Bramblegast. I don't think it's that bad. Do you know a good, like, Bramblin spot Murph by chance? Because if so, I'll do that. <laughs> Dragapult? Um... Hmm. Just the entire desert? It's an idea. Um, I don't know where Dreepy and Dragapult spawn, though. Where do you find Dreepy? Where do I find Dreepy? Uh, it's a Violet exclusive, guys, so I can't. Is a Violet exclusive. Curses foiled again by the version exclusives. Um, so we'll just do Bramblin' Bramblegast then. Let me get it up on the layout real quick. I'm just scrolling through all the, the shiny gifts and stuff. Let me move you two around. Because you're going to be a Bramblegast now. Then I'm going to swap you out for the Bramblin' real quick. First I got to find it. I want so badly to say Giratina. I wish. I wish I could shiny hunt Giratina. I would absolutely soft reset in front of that thing. But they shiny locked all of the new legends. Or all of the legends coming back in the DLC. Can Dimmy will be shiny? No. Cannot. Cannot legitimately. Technically, yes, it can be shiny, but only if it's hacked. Otherwise, no, it cannot be. You can't even catch a Giratina anyway. You can't get Giratina in this game? Lame. Lame. 
or from the event. Oh, right, right, because the event could be shiny, yeah, but not like in the wild. No dialogue properly either. Mats are ripping the chat. That's dumb that they did it that way. It's so stupid. All right, so what does regular Bramblin look like so that I can get the difference between it and its shiny through my thick skull? Okay. And then the shiny one looks like, okay. Yeah, I can do this. So I can look at the top to see the white or I can look at the bottom to see the green. All right, we're good. We're good. We'll get this. I'll be able to see. No Zerny Snowy Beltel either. Man, they are slacking on bringing back the legendaries this generation. They are slacking. Come here, little buddy. There you go. All right, Bramblin' it is. Let's do it, shall we? Let's jump on into this shiny hunt. We are out of here. For real, to comparable compared to Galar. That aspect of it is definitely, without a doubt. Uh, desert, desert, desert. Galar, you can get most legends. True. Basically, almost all of them, except for like the um, events and like the pixies and stuff. Can you cool me? She asked, just search it up very hard. I'm pretty sure it can't. I'm pretty sure it can't. Give me Ghoul of Shiny Locked, yes. Unless you got one from the Terra Raid Battle event, then it's Shiny Locked. Yeah, the game is, it's it's locked unless you got one during the Terra Raid Battle event. So unfortunately, no, it is Shiny Locked. You cannot get it unless you participate in the event. And said event is now over, so yeah. So no way to get a Shiny uh, Gimme Ghoul, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And I mean, like, freaking, um, Shiny Golden goes so stupid, it's not even funny. So, like, it's not even worth it at that point. Alright, I'm just running around this desert looking for a big old Bramblin. Let's see if we can find him. Are you Shiny, buddy? No? Okay. You can get really everything, to be honest. You can get all Box Legends, Lake Trio, Mewtwo, Beast, Genies, and Tapus from Raids. Yeah, it, it's kind of insane the amount of stuff that Galar does give you. It's kind of insane when you think about it. It's not noticeable at all. Yeah, Golden Go has like no discernible difference. You cannot tell me that one. You cannot tell me that it's a shiny. I also think somebody just forgot to code it and they were like, I don't know, just do something, anything. I truthfully believe they just forgot to code it. If you focus a lot, you can see it. I can't see it. I I'm happy that you can. I cannot tell the difference. I cannot tell the difference at all. So I'm glad that you can. Reggie's and Swords from DLC Quest. True. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big Gen, uh, Gen 8 lover, but there are certain cool things it did, and that is definitely one of them. Without a doubt. Just being able to, like, sh have a chance to shiny hunt all the legendaries is so cool. Ugh, excuse me. Especially ones that you normally couldn't, like the freaking Tapus. Like, all the Tapus have six shinies. And they robbed us of them in Gen 7. Valerian birds are just cool, too. True! Oh, God, a spot You scared the crap out of me! That actually scared the crap out of me, dude. That wasn't new for Gen 8, though? It wasn't? Was it not? Could you get the shiny Tapus in Gen 7? I didn't think you could. I thought they were shiny locked. Ghost on all the legends in Ultra Sun, Moon, and in Auras? Well, yeah, I know it wasn't, like, new. In, like, that aspect of it wasn't new, but, like... What could, how could you get them in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? Oh, the wormhole stuff. I forgot all about the wormholes. Could be awesome. I didn't do them. <laughs> I was like, these are stupid. I'm good. <laughs> I'm chilling. And then the Auras had the Hoopa rings. Those I remember. Because I think I did do Hoopa hunting. You assume you can only get your version exclusive in Galar. You can raid and get everyone. So, yeah, that aspect of it is pretty cool. No version exclusive legendaries. It's pretty nice. 
not having to worry about that. Don't mind me, the little cap say kid. Just gonna scooch around you real quick. Did you know the Pokedex color of Gimme Ghoul is bound is brown? Pokedex colors make no sense. It's honestly so dumb. None of them make any sense whatsoever. I brought in raids until I got every legendary from both versions. The only one I didn't get is Thunderous. Just traded it from our from Aaron because I caught his form. Hey, there you go. That's solid. I'm sure that probably took a little while though. Seems like it was worth it. Gordy's in Reshiram has a nickname in Ultra Sun, Reshi. Reshi the Reshiram. I dig it. I dig it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Alright. Let's keep our eyes open for a shiny little tumbleweed. No, it's Pothra. Stay away. You scare me. Legendary Crother like me is always ready to spend lots of time gathering legendaries. I mean, true, if you're gonna commit, I feel like you gotta. If you're gonna uh, be a legendary collector, you gotta commit to the bit. Like the same as being a shiny hunter. You gotta be in for the long haul. You gotta do it. It makes I still haven't gotten everyone in Violet. I haven't even started that stuff yet. I haven't even come close to getting that done. Call my stars though. Hey, good stuff. I still gotta do that too. I still gotta do that BP grinding. Cause I've been hardcore slacking on that. Dude, where are all of these Bramblin? Like none are spawning right now. Is it cause it's daytime? Hunt for a golden dung beetle, please. Uh, not at the moment. We have a ghost type sandwich going and Relor is not a ghost type. So unfortunately, no Relor hunt at the moment. Dude, where did all the Brambling go? Do they only... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I could have sworn you still spawn during the day, buddy. I wish this Pokemon was better. I really wish it was better. I used one during our stream playthrough, and it did literally nothing all game. It... it even in the Psychic-type gym, it did literally nothing. It died. It got one shot in the Psychic type gym. When it's a Ghost type. Like, I know it's not a Dark type, but still, it's strong against Psychic types. Like, I feel like it should have done more. Which makes me sad because I love this Pokemon. I think its design is actually really adorable. But then, like, it's just, it's just so not good. They made, they made it so bad. Crazy, I'm saying. We should do it until you can start going to Bragapedia sometime, you, me, and Dorothy. Yeah, we could do it over stream. I think that'd be fun. I think we've talked about doing that before. My Darkrai got one shot? What'd your Darkrai get one shot by? Oh, by the Gardevoir. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because it's got fairy moves. That makes sense. But, like, my freaking Bramblegast couldn't even one shot a, uh, um. A Garbor with like Phantom Force or whatever. It lived and then it got one shot by like I think Dazzling Gleam or Moonblast or something. Like, dude, come on. Like, how is Bramblin that bad? I'm trying to take a peek through. What about me? Well, it's not like a guarantee that I'm doing it. I need the Scarlet Pokemon too. Well, what we'd be doing would be Blueberry Quest, which is DLC, and you said you don't have the DLC. So I don't think you'd be able to even participate. Because the, the stuff I need to do is grind for the starter Pokemon for DLC, and I think you need to have the DLC in order to do a Union Raid in the DLC. Unless maybe you don't. Maybe you don't need to. I don't know. I might be wrong. Maybe you don't need to have the DLC to do Union Raids in DLC. My assumption would be you probably would, though. That would be my assumption, at least. I'm happy to be proven wrong, though. Is that a shiny? No. Pretty sure it's not. Are you suggesting you do those because I need I need more BP? Yeah, I remember that too. 
I remember that as well. I remember. What's BP? Blueberry points. It's the currency at the Blueberry Academy. It's a battle points? No, it stands for blueberry points. It's basically the battle points of the DLC, though. Basically the same thing. Like, you use them to, like, redeem prizes and stuff. But in this game, it's, like, more, like, cosmetic stuff than anything. And they add, like, new Pokemon to the Terrarium and stuff. Um, it's not really used to, like, get, like, items how, like, old BP was. I love watching these guys roll. Look at them go. I love watching them roll around. It's so funny. I love just watching them go. <laughs> it's so funny. They're so adorable. I, I want a Bramblem for a, a Bramblem plushie. Excuse me. I want one so bad. You can buy items with BP, really? I didn't, well, I mean, like... Because there's, like, the... Uh, what's it called thing, right? The, uh, the 3D printer or whatever. Whatever it's called, that thing. Is that the thing you use to buy items with? Like the item generator, whatever it's called? I actually have no idea what it's called. I don't even think I've unlocked it yet. School store? You can. There's a school store? I haven't found that yet. Can you buy sparkling sandwiches with BP? That'd be pretty convenient. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. They just keep on going. It makes me so happy. Like, they don't know where they're going. It's just wherever the wind takes them. I respect it. I kind of respect it. Yep, only one though? Really? So you can only buy one sparkly sandwich and then that's it? That's so stupid. They see me rolling the oven. <laughs> Yo, true. Look at these little guys go. They're so sick. I love this Pokemon. Why aren't you better? I, I, I want to use this Pokemon so much. But they're just so bad. Like, I guess it does have Wind Rider as some utility, I suppose. But outside of that, this Pokemon's so bad. It makes me so upset. But it's such a sick design, and I think it's actually adorable. No, only one type? What? That seems, like, really dumb that they would do that that way. Are you shiny? No, you're not, right? Nah, you ain't. A sparkling one every type. Oh, I see. So it's like a level one for all types. I get it. That's dumb. That's stupid. I see rays as it has a shiny aura. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it means anything specific. Rolling in the deep, you had my heart inside of your hands, but you played it by the bump to the beat. Just remember previous messages. I get it now. We're good. It's much better than nothing. Is it though? Is it much better than nothing? I feel like. I mean, I guess. But like. Why not just go all out with it, man? Like, it makes no sense, dude. They didn't have to include Sparkling Sandwich, and I think that's Drupal they made in, in every type one. But if it's just level one, it's not going to make a difference, though, right? Like, it's barely going to boost your odds. I mean, like, it'll still boost it, so, like, neat. But, like, why when I could just, like, use, like, some herbs in my own boost to, like, get it for free and make the hunt a lot easier, you know? I don't know. I, I get what you're saying, but like, I don't know. Like, it's just like, it, it's so stupid. Like, why not just go all out and let us like buy, si buy shiny sandwiches with DLC? Like, why not? 
Like, if you're gonna give us an every type one, just let us pick, like, specific types. Like, at that point, it's just, it's just easier. Like, it's cool they did it, but, like, it, it's just more convenient to do it the other way. So, like, if they give you a way to do it, but it's less convenient than the normal way, why would I ever do it the, the other way? Why would I ever do it the less convenient way, you know? I went to and there was a five-star Blissey raid. Okay, solid. Be some good EXP. I know you hate Game Freak, but that doesn't mean everything they do is bad. But, like, this is, this is, isn't really a solution, though. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's not a solution. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's not a solution. Like, just get, being like, oh, here's a shiny level one sandwich for every single type. Like, great, but that doesn't really do me any good. Unless, like, I'm just running around the map for a couple of hours. That's what I'm saying. Because, like, I could just grab two herbs and use, like, a shiny sandwich of the type I'm looking for and probably get the shiny in half the time. So, I would argue that giving you an, an, a, uh, a solution that is less convenient for the player is not actually a solution. That's my argument. Herbs are hard to get. I know they're hard to get. I'm just saying, like... I don't know, like, give do, like, an herb shop or something. Or, like, how about just increase the, the herb drops for the raids? Like, that would make it way easier. Like, we didn't need this kind of thing. There are other ways you could have fixed the game, and they, they chose, like, the least convenient way. That's the way I see it. I'm not willing to spend a bunch of time getting herbs for sparkling sandwiches. I, I, I know, and, like, at the same time, like, my idea would have been, like, okay... Well, let's just make the drop rate on the herbs easier. Like, that's the way I see it. Like, like just make the drop rates on the herbs not as ridiculously stupid. Like, make it so every single raid, four stars and above, it gives you a guaranteed at least one herb. Like, that's how it should be. Not like, lol, I wonder if I'm going to get the Herby Werbies this time. And then 99% of the time you don't. Yo, what's up, RKS? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having a good Saturday. That way, herbs can still feel like a reward because if they just let you buy them, herbs would feel useless. But yeah, you can, but like, only, then do them like daily. Do them like daily quantities. Like, you can buy two herbs a day or something so you can get your guaranteed shiny sandwich. Do two herbs a day. And then you can grind for your other ones. Like, that's the way I see it. I just think that this isn't... Like, yeah, I see what you're seeing. It's not a solution. It's meant to be an alternative. But, like, it's not a good alternative. Like, that's my argument. It doesn't do anything. Like, a level 1 sparkling power is negligible. Like, it does help, but, like, it's not a big help. I need Magic Queen no matter how much it costs me. Okay. The Blissey healed me? Yeah, I think they have Heal Pulse. So I'm not surprised. I believe they do have heal pulse. I once raided with Aaron and got a shiny belt and got a one shot belt, so I basically gave him a free mana growth. Hey, there you go. See, like that aspect of, of raids I enjoy, like being able to do them with friends and stuff. Like, that's fun. I mean, like, yeah, the raids are worse in this game than they were in Sword and Shield, but still. People don't want to grind the herbs, or it's being hard to get wasn't the problem. They wanted to them to feel rare but by adding a new sandwich it gives people something it gets something cool for people who don't grind i mean yeah but like again again it's an alternative but again my argument is it's not a good alternative like i think there are better ways they could have given you an alternative besides being like hey here's a singular sandwich with level one power but it's for all types like that's cool that's neat but at the same time, like, a level 1 sparkling power isn't going to do that much for you. And then it's just going to end up being, like, a waste of money unless you get lucky. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. Make them battle tower rewards? I mean, yeah... I think they should be purchasable with BP. I'll say that. I think making them purchasable with BP would have been a good way to do it. So that way, like, there's still the aspect of grinding, but you don't have to do the raids if you don't want to. You can just BP grind for quests. That, I think, would have been a good alternative. Because you're still presenting the player with the same exact options. 
uh, it's just a different means of acquiring them. Like, you can still get the herbs. Whereas, like, I don't have to deal with a, um, a, uh, um, a level one sandwich that's gonna do nothing for me. Like, they should be purchasable with BP, in my opinion. That would have been the good alternative, in my, in my eyes. That's supposed to be good. It's meant to be you can get this or grind for herbs and get a better reward. Then make the herbs purchasable with BP, and that literally removes it entirely. That would just remove it entirely. Like, just make it that way and make it way easier. I had time, not yet. Other Dime Master is a terror raid music. The music makes me feel anxious. I mean, yeah. It's good music, though. I think all your points rely on people not doing date skipping. Yeah, I guess, but, like, just make it so if they can't. Like, if they try to date skip, like, the, the DS locks you out of clock base events. Like, do that with the Switch, too. Like, if people try to skip around to do some extra stuff, like, lock them out. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think that's a good solution, but, like, it's something I could see it happen. What's mean by your Pokemon cannot enter the raid because your Pokemon has a problem? It means that Pokemon's hacked. So, it's an illegal Pokemon. Dragon Power still has the odds. Yeah, I know it has it, but, like, again, that's not amazing. I guess, I guess it's neat, but, like, it doesn't, it's not, it's not, I, if they're gonna make an alternative, make it better. That's the way I see it. Again, they remove the grinding for Earth, which isn't what they're trying to do. Right, but, like, they prevent you with a different alternative and still the same. What I'm saying is if they make it BP rewards, like, it still presents you with a grinding alternative. Because, like, yeah, players are still going to want to get them. They still feel rare and difficult to get. But at the same time, like, it's you can grind for them in a different way. So we don't have to just grind through the raids and worry about it that way. I'm trying to move grind and trying to give a better option, but it's the best. But again, that's my again back to my other argument. It's not really a better option because it doesn't really do anything. Like a level one sandwich is not going to give you the odds that you need. Like yeah, you could get really really lucky, but more often than not, it's probably not going to happen. So that's what I'm saying. Is if you're going to present an alternative, make it a better alternative, or swap it out and make it a different form of grinding. Crazy? Yeah, probably whatever Pokemon you- What Pokemon are you trying to use? It probably just means it's hacked. Most likely. Not a better option or a different option? I mean, I get that, but like... I don't know. I just think it's stupid. I don't think it makes any sense. I think it's a stupid idea. I just think it's a stupid idea. Like, great. You have a different option now. Awesome. And I don't think it really does anything. Like, there are other ways they could have done to make it easier for the players to acquire herbs. Or to acquire shiny, shiny sandwiches. And that just wasn't it. That's the way I see it. Agree or disagree? I just don't... I just... I just think it was a dumb idea. That's all. I'm not gonna change my mind. I, it's a stupid idea. Like, I just wanna make it worse, easier to get alternative. Like, to get the really good buff, it takes more work. Okay, then just, like... Well... I would never argue though it's making it inaccessible for some players like if players just can't do the raids Then they're permanently locked out of being able to like get the good stuff So that's why I presented the alternative of BP quests a blueberry quest using BP to purchase herbs and then You can purchase like a certain amount of day or something using BP Like that I think would be a much better alternative because you don't have to grind for like raids You just are doing blueberry quests like how you are like you just purchase them from the high ups like People are going to do that anyway. I don't know. I, I think it's a stupid idea, personally, but whatever. What do I know? I don't make video games. I just play them. All right, we're going to wrap up the stream right here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night for some more shiny hunting. Uh, tomorrow at 3, the uh, week 3 battle of, of the DAPL will be going up. Uh, so you guys have that to look forward to tomorrow as well. Uh, definitely subscribe if you're new around here. We're on our way to 400 subscribers. That's my end of the year gold. Really appreciate if you can help me hit that. Uh, also, leave a like on the stream. It helps me out a ton. We're trying to hit... Uh, that 400 subscriber mark and leaving that like it helps me uh, Helps the content reach new people who might be interested in coming to hang out with us coming to watch it and everything um, So that way they are able to join and see this content as well Like I said definitely subscribe if you're new around here I really appreciate that immensely and I will catch you all tomorrow night for some more shiny hunting until then I leave you with this one sage word of wisdom peace